welcome. Thanks for tuning in. You've made it along, of course, to the Swatch Battle of Hastings 2023. My name's Seb Denver. You may know me, you may not, but one man you will most certainly know is this man sitting beside me. Is, of course, the man, the myth, the legend that is Trey Jones. Trey, how are we doing, bro? Fantastic. Day three of being in here inside this little bunker at uh, know, Battle yeah. Hastings. <laughs> so, yeah, we're doing great, and it's uh, today's going to be a blast. To say we've had some action over the past few days would be a like huge understatement, though, right? <sighs> oh, my God. I mean, I could only, it's, it's, it has been absolutely insane. Yeah. I sure. mean, I've said it a few times when we've been doing these um, chats, but the, the contest, fo contest format here is different to any other contest. You've ridden, you've been a captain here, you've ridden several times. Mm -hmm. how, does that how does that kind of work as a rider? Uh, it's cool. It's so much different. I mean, just Battle of Hastings is different in general just because it is a team-based event, you know what I mean? You have the best trick contest that two, you get picked on by two of your guys to be in that. You have the high air, you pick one guy for that. You have the rail jam, you pick one guy for that. Yeah. So it's like you have to have a well-rounded team in order to get to today, which yeah. is the final. So it's uh, it's much different because you have a team atmosphere. And yeah, uh, yeah it's awesome. Though. And you have to hope that well-rounded team doesn't go out and party too hard as well, which yeah. is hard to do when you're in yeah. Hastings. And, yeah, exactly. And, and especially when you don't know if you're in finals until the day of the finals, you know? So it's yeah, like, exactly. so it's very interesting. Well, whether you've seen the contest before or not, we put together a little uh, format video for you just to give you a little recap of what's going on and what's going down. There you go. Hopefully that explained it a little bit better. But, you know, I want to recap on it again that it's just such a different event. There's so many moving parts to this contest. And you were saying just earlier, like, you know, you kind of saw like Killian do that, like Manny 180 off the rail. You're like, yeah. and they've not qualified. You're like, how, you know, you're like, how do they not qualify? Yeah, it's crazy how it's like, obviously your score from like the high air, the rail jam and the best trick yesterday results in where you are here. And yeah. the park contest is where you are today. So it's like, even though we saw Killian do a manual 180 down the rail, his team's not in the finals. Yeah, yeah. Or Ben Wallace did a 12 foot high flare, his team's not in the finals. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't, it, it's not necessarily like who individually does something great, but like who as a team collectively yeah. does well to get to today. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. But I think we're gonna have some of the standings come up on the screen now, some of the overall standings where we're at. There we go, look. Team Dove, Team Laos, O'Kane, Hilda, and Lacey. That's our team standings. That's their total scores so far. And you can kind of see the breakdown there, yeah? What they've got on the rail jams, what they've got on high air, what they've got on park. Yeah, That's and I think, it's, I think it's no shocker that uh, Team Dove is uh, yeah. in that top spot by four points. I mean, you got Garrett Reynolds, Josh Dove, Lewis Mills. <laughs> like, I mean, come on now. Dove knew what he was doing when he was picking his team. I mean, he literally I, – I, I asked him uh, earlier, I was like – I was like, how long did it take for you to pick your team? He's like, I literally was asking Creasy, what is the soonest I can pick, I can ask people to be on my team? And I asked immediately because I didn't want Garrett Reynolds to be taken. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I was like, I was like well, well, it definitely worked out for you, so good yeah, job. Well, there he is at the top spot. But that's not to say he's going to win today. There's still a long way to go. Yeah, yeah. contest format for today is each rider goes in two runs each. Yep. And that's the first time that every, we're going to see every rider on that park, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's uh, it's interesting because some of these guys didn't ride the park contest yesterday. Yeah, so yeah. Um, you can see it right there. Top five teams from the session results: one one heat per team, two visits to the to the course, uh, three attempts at the last trick, judge an overall impression. So pretty much, you get two runs, yeah. and then you get to pick one trick that you want to do, and you get three tries at it, tentatively. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. if somebody's getting close on the third try, maybe we'll give him four. Maybe we'll give him five. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's but it, yeah. He won. We got Team Lacey, Dan Paley, Devin Smiley, Chase Hawk, Dan Lacey. I mean, come on. That, yeah, look, look at that I mean. Like, they, they, they are incredible. The, the rider list today is out of control. And this is the cool thing as well about this is it is per team. You know what I mean? You're going team by team through the list. Yeah. So, like, you're in there with your boys. Like, Lace is in there with, the, like, yeah. the boys that he's chosen. You yeah, know? yeah, because whenever you pick a team, it's like, yeah, obviously everybody wants to win. Like, oh, yeah, that's great. You get to win and make some money. But it's like at the end of the day, like, your team, you're going to pick the people that are the closest to you. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? And, like, your homies that you want to be riding the course with you. So um, I think it's cool that they, that they set up the heats by – by team, so it's great. There's a uh, homeman with his t-shirt bazooka. Oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna be firing those t-shirts out of the crowd. Daryl looking as fly as ever, of course. Oh my god! Look at those answer race pants in oh. the nineties. Daryl. He's got the best. He's got the best closet of anybody in BMX. Oh my god! He does. So. And you've judged for us as well before at Battle Hastings. You know, what's it like being on that judging panel? Scary stuff. Uh, I don't like it. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I'd rather just sit here and uh, talk about people's writings than actually have to be like, you're better, your writing is better than this guy's writing or anything like that. You know, it's, uh, whenever you're judging, you're deciding these guys' fate and I don't like that pressure in yeah. my hands, you know, but, uh, hey, I mean, I was talking to Van Home about it yesterday and he's like, no, man, you just got to think about it statistically of whatever, whatever this is and this is and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, that's way over my head man you know like when i watch bike riding it gives me a feeling yeah like yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't look at it as numbers you know yeah. i can't like i can't break down bike riding in uh terms of who is better than who yeah, you know yeah. i just know what i like and what i don't like, you yeah know? It's, exactly. it's, it's, it's a it's a subjective thing it's hard you know well that's why we're thankfully in this booth of not judging again so yeah, yeah 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 it's exactly all, all we have to say is that was awesome that was great that yeah. was cool oh it's really cool <laughs> Uh, right, before we get into the action, we are going to now go to a short commercial break where we've got a special little trailer of the uh, Vans part coming up. Ooh, yeah, let's check it out. Oh, we're going to go back to the heat one. What if it was round? Nah, that'd be crazy. Swatch. I'm excited to uh, for everybody to finally get to see it. You know, been it's, working on it for two years now, so it's been a long time coming. It's, it's, but it's not like a short two-minute thing, this, is it? No, no. I mean, it's it's and it's not necessarily just a traditional video part. It's more of like a uh, a film, I guess you could say. It's like you know, 14 minutes long, and it's got a few different sections. And I worked on it really hard with my buddy Chris Gregson for Vans and. Uh, lucky that we get to premiere it tonight at uh, Nora Cup here in Hastings, but it's also going to go live on the Hour BMX YouTube channel, 5 o'clock East Coast time, 2 o'clock California time, and uh, yeah, can't wait for everybody to see it. There's a distinct change though, in, the, in that filming of that edit, right, because he's a skate filmer predominantly, yeah. that's, that's his yeah. bread and butter, uh -huh. and then you decided to kind of you know, choose him. For this yeah, yeah. Video? I mean, I mean, I mean. Chris has always been a good friend of mine, and uh, he approached Vans and was like, "Hey, I want to film a part with Trey." And uh, they were like, "Yeah, we trust you guys. Go do your thing." So it kind of opened up my eyes to a different, a lot of different spots and a lot of different unique stuff. And uh, yeah, can't wait for everybody to see it. Yeah, sick. Well, on the course here, back with Daryl. Now look, there he is. What a guy. The atmosphere in that room is quite literally, you know, you talk about it a lot, but it's electric in there, isn't it? When you, people are banging on those, like, 
plastic. Yeah, it's crazy because it's not um, it's not your traditional like outdoor event or whatever. It's like you're in an underground hall, <laughs> I guess you could yeah, call it. Yeah. You know, like it's long and narrow, and it has a huge echo to it. So like when everybody starts, you know, clapping and cheering and stuff like that, the echo is insane. It yeah. gets so loud, and then like you know when when there's dudes that are trying scary scary stuff like i don't i don't necessarily i i need i need like peace and quiet to get in the zone to try yeah, something yeah. but a lot of these dudes like they just want to get pumped up and get that adrenaline going to send something so you know obviously uh we'll see today how crazy people get yeah big time well i mean these guys can definitely get the crowd riled up i mean we know i mean you do a great uh daryl now impression as well <laughs> <laughs> we've got Van Homan on the course, there we go, that's what we're talking about, people banging on that, like you say, it's kind of echoey in there, and it just erupts. Yeah, and I don't even think it was intentional, like, they have that plexiglass that kind of goes along the guardrail that you can see there. Yeah, and it stopped people kind of kicking things yeah, off. Yeah, and, and it wasn't even like, a th I don't think that they were like, we should put plexiglass here so people can bang on it like a drum for the contest, yeah, exactly, but, yeah. and then, but they, just, they just had it there, and then... All of a sudden, after the first Battle of Hastings, I think they were like, man, this, this plexiglass is a good idea. People, yeah. people like banging on this stuff. And it it honestly makes for, like, everybody to have, like, a drum or something like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, it sounds like it's like a like you're in, like, a heavy metal concert or something like that in there. Whenever it's go, really going off, it gets loud. I remember the first year, like, people weren't even kind of sure whether they were, like, allowed to do it. You know, they were kind of yeah. tentatively doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as soon as a few people got away with it, they were like, hold on a minute, everybody's doing this now. Yeah, and especially with them having like the courtyard with uh, alcohol easily accessible. Uh, <laughs> once people get a little loosened up, they really start. Uh, oh, yeah. They, they they really start going for it. But uh, I mean, it also helps that you have a guy like Daryl that uh, commands the crowd. Exactly. You know? Well, that's that judging panel we were talking about. Of course, look at those boys. Some of the biggest names. In legendary. Crew. Absolutely legendary. Good to see Corey up there as well this year. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. I was talking to Corey yesterday about, uh, you know, doing the judging thing, and he is really into it. You is know? he enjoying it? Yeah, he, he really likes it, and he's, you know, he's really trying to uh, find uh, his niche and, like, doing the judging thing and trying to open up his, uh, yeah. you know, see what else he can do outside of uh, being a pro bike rider. You know, he's been yeah. doing it for so long. And I think that, you know, obviously having a guy like Axel and Ruben and Owen and Corey all being pro bike riders yeah, at one yeah. point in their life, like, these dudes know. They can, oh, yeah. they can all ride that course, and they know when a transition is tight or, oh, wow, that core is really mellow to do yeah. that trick on or whatever. Like, they're not just like, you know, they're not like fat gymnast coach that can't get out there <laughs> yeah. and do it. All these dudes can, they, they, they know oh, what they're yeah. doing, you know? Exactly that. Yeah, so it's it's uh it's great. I mean, I was it's just to see Ruben up there is, I know, right? is insane. You know, like God, talk about a legend. I know. know, right? Yeah. Well, you know, some of these dudes have like invented some of the tricks we're seeing here. <laughs> literally, <laughs> like, literally, quite literally. Like, yeah, it's 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 crazy. I mean, especially a guy even Axel. Like Axel is such a legendary, you know, bike rider between him and Ruben, Martinez. God, like, oh, what you say? But, you, you were on the panel once, but then you've never gone back. So I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you're in the room with me this year. I was a sure. look. I was a, I was appreciative of the opportunity, but I gladly will uh, decline any I will, further. Well, it's like you know, doing this, I can just sit here and just analyze what's going on, and and, and just uh, hopefully let the viewer have a clearer look on what's going on. Exactly. I'm not deciding whether who wins or loses. I'm just here as a fan wanting to watch it and, you know, call out if something's switch or opposite or regular. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, my, my, that's, my, that's my job here. You know, that's about it. My eye can't detect those things like yours. It's <laughs> unbelievable how well you just, you're like, oh, did he just switch that around? I swear to God, you can tell whether they're, like, pedals, like, logo side up or logo side down. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's on his grind side of his pedal. <laughs> yeah, now. yeah. Oh, no, his pedal's gone up. He's... He's on the slick side. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I've been riding BMX since I was four years old, and uh, it, it's just a natural instinct at this yeah. point. You know, when I see certain guys do a trick, there's something in my brain that's like, there was something different about that. What was that? And I can, like, quickly figure out, oh, that was opposite. That was regular. But uh, it looks like we're getting in here with Dan Paley first. Yeah. Oh. Paley opening it up. Paley 
obviously better known for his street business back in the day, but now he's kind of dusted the old BMX back off again. He's not that he's ever given up on BMX, but he got back. He got into mountain biking quite heavily, and it's definitely affected his riding coming back onto the BMX. I mean, yeah, and like when we say affect, I don't mean it in a negative way. I mean it, or uh, we don't mean it in a negative way. We mean it in like you get. He is. Uh, he was also way more of a street guy, yeah, and absolutely. seeing Dan in the bowl, you know, kind of like charging it yeah. is was not exactly what you used to see of Dan. You see him way more street dominant. Yeah. I mean, he always had the transition skills, but it just you can just tell that uh, the mountain biking has. Uh, I'm liking it a lot, yeah, and exactly. it's and it's awesome, man. I mean, seeing with the gloves, the helmet, you know, like you can definitely tell that he's that he's been uh, more uh, mountain bike style, you know. Yeah, he, dude doesn't got an inch of fat on him as well. He's just pure muscle <laughs> and skin. <laughs> you de- yeah, you can definitely tell that mountain bike is a little more healthier for your body yeah. than, <laughs> than street riding. Based on him, he looks like he looks like he's chiseled out of stone or something, you know. <laughs> this dude's definitely gonna. Be over on that street section, but look, starts straight off in the Ooh. bowl. You see the back wheel just hanging over there. That was like Devin smiling. Like we were oh. saying, you know, we didn't see uh, we didn't see Devin ride the park contest yesterday. He just did the best trick. So this is the first time that we're seeing Devin do a run out. Exactly, yeah. Which is really, really rad. But uh, in the, he's got in the bowl there. Wow! Right? Suicide no hander to manual. Wow. Was he trying to manual? I, he was trying I don't to know if he was or not. Wow, that's uh, I've never even seen Devin do that trick. I mean, I know he's good at suicide, no handers, and manuals on rails, but there, let's let's uh, maybe he's going back for more. Yeah, let's maybe he's it. going back in again. Here we go. There's a suicide. Oh, oh suey to ice. Wow, that sounds that I mean, it's still difficult, but it sounds a bit more realistic. Oh my than god, Manny. I was about to say, I was like, suicide to manual, Jesus Christ, that's a <laughs> so stoked as well. Hectic move. He did a uh, Ruben wall ride right in, right in front of Ruben. That, oh, that, maybe yeah. that's just scored him an extra point <laughs> from Ruben's uh, judging sheet. So remember, these guys are all getting two runs in the course today. So two runs, and then they get three attempts at best tricks. So we'll go back to the top of the list for their second one once uh, Chase and Dan have been in. Next up, we got from Austin, Texas, Chase Hawk. And still, without a doubt, like one of my favorite riders to watch ride that bowl. I mean, favorite rider on earth. Like, yeah. Oof, even out, the cameraman. Out of the up. camera angle. Come on now, people. Look at the speed. Uh, that big alley oop. Oh, man. The 270 is so beautiful. Just hoping the transition finds your wheels, basically. It's so high. Nobody goes that high like that on that transfer. No. I, I look, I love giving Chase shit about every single thing that he does, but sometimes it's really hard. You know, <laughs> like sometimes I'm like, damn it, he didn't, he didn't do anything that I could talk shit on. Here we go, putting put the back brake in as well. Oh, I thought he was going to go up to uh, Foof again. But Ooh, the ice. Get onto the ice. I bet he pulled his brake, though. Oh, yeah, he was squealing all over the place. We know it. <laughs> I love you giving him so much grief for that. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> Turns out he is human. Yeah, Chase, good job. That was that was killer. Somebody give the, somebody get this guy a brake pad sponsorship. He need we, we need to get we need to get some. We get, <laughs> I told him I was gonna give him grief on his brake squealing. So there you go. There's your there's your little jab. But uh, next up we got the local boy Dan Lacey. Dan Lacey, yeah, I mean. He is literally spitting distance from this from this park. He lives literally across the road. Yeah. So one man knows every inch of this bowl and this park is this guy. Yeah. Born and raised Hastings. Hangar 180 up the rail. Let's see what Dan has got. Grind down, up, no! Oh my god! Oh. Jesus! Extra steep on the nose, putting on those Vans shoes. Getting back in there. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, look at him shrugging it off. Wow. He's just out here having fun, man. Yeah, he is. That was good. Wow. Seeing him out a bit. He's like airing out of the top of that vert wall. You know, sometimes he can be his own worst enemy when something oh doesn't go my quite right. God, that was so high. He's calling it. You know, he can be his own worst enemy, though, Lacey. He's always been that way. When something doesn't go quite right, in his run, you know, he kicks himself so he's, hard for it. I'm like, I, I mean, he's definitely an all or nothing rider. Yeah, it's, he it, is. It, it, it's like, you know, we've seen him do runs out in that bowl that are absolutely flawless and beautiful. 
And then sometimes it's just like one little slip up and, you know, it ruins the whole thing. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of guys that are, I mean, I'm like that when I ride contests. If I have like one little slip up, I, it's in my head the whole time. Yeah, I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, I messed it up. Oh, no, no, no. Like I'm, I'm stressing it. So I 100% understand where he's coming from. Yeah. Of, like, you know, if he slips up a little bit. But like we said, we've seen Lacey do some runs that are amazing for that move. Next up we got Dan Pilly. And this is what we're talking about with the mountain bike stuff is that now he is riding more transition in like, oh, that oh. beautiful signature Paley switch whip. God, he has the best switch whips. Where like in years past, we haven't really seen him ride as much of the bull. You no, know no, I mean? that's like, right. It would have always been more in the street the, stuff. It would have know? always been in the street section. But, but it's good. It's, it's cool. It's cool to see him riding, oh, you totally. know, riding the bull a little bit more and, you know. I mean, he was, he'd always come out and bust a big three or a big, you know, oh, yeah. a big table three or something out on the course, but mainly it'd be in the uh, street side. And, like, you know, this run is predominantly been over in the uh, bowl. So here he goes, though, over the street section. What's he got? Crook I mean, 180. Hanger over, oh! Peggy! Oh! And that's how capable he is on the street section still, you know? Oh! Kind of lost some steam going into that. You, when you're at the end of a run like this, especially your second run, you're literally dying. You are. You're like, you're just like, <sighs> like I am gassed out. It's so warm in there. I mean, we had Chase in there yesterday for an interview. Didn't we? We're going to be doing interviews later on as well. But you know, when those guys come in, they are blowing. They've been stopped riding for like two or yeah, three minutes by that time, but they're still blowing. And it doesn't. And it doesn't seem like a very long time. But after you do three one-minute runs. It is yeah. rough. Ooh, 180 over switch pegs. We saw Devin do that yesterday in the best trick contest, up rail bar. And that's still on that brand new bike that he got two yeah, years ago. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, he's gotten used to it, so. Ooh, 180 bar backwards crook. Can you imagine if this contest had been anywhere other than Hastings? Oh he, wouldn't my God. Able to get a, he wouldn't have been able to get a bike just built up. Yeah, man. I mean, luckily, he was, uh, he was in a position to... Uh, to just be able to swing over to the source Make and grab a new bike. Exactly, yeah. Very lucky on that one. But, uh, we got Devin in the bowl. Devin's got the transition skills just as much as the street skills. There it is. The sig signature Devin Smiley ground chuck. Over there. What else you got then? It's not going to be long left. Another Ooh, run. Ooh, the three oh, nose. That. that was nice. Three nose bunk on the wall of Smith 180. I've never seen anybody doing that. That was sick. Casual. Giving a high five to Reed. Birthday boy yesterday. Yeah. Got a cake on the course. Hopefully we get to see you read back out there today on Team Hilder. All right. Now on a chase hook again, you see how out of breath he still is from run number one. And then, I'm you know, telling you, like man, it doesn't, four minutes. It, it doesn't it doesn't seem like that long, but jeez, it is it's brutal out there. Yeah, Whenever, so like, warm. And we've been blessed this weekend as well with the weather. And yeah. it just meant that it's been roasting in here. Yeah. Beautiful, Walter. Oh, I love it. Look, he's really putting that back right to some use. Oh, oh my oh. word. He was telling me at practice, he's like, every time I go to do that 270, I literally just clench and I'm just like, okay, here we go. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's, like, you're just so hoping scary, you find that transition. Dude. You pull out. Let's go for that back wall for the food. Yes. Oh, love oh, that. Yes, Chase. Oh, oh, oh my God. I can, hear, I can hear the brakes squealing through the screen <laughs> on that one. We're going to have to adjust the audio levels. God, with the three wall. Oh, my God. I mean, I love on. that. You could tell by the end of that run then. He yeah, was just, I think he was he's, making it up as he went along at the, right at the end. Yeah, I, he is hyped right now. I mean, I, we saw him try that foof yesterday and kind of got a little squirrely on it. So to get, Dude, He held that foof for so oh long as well. I was like, hold on, yeah. are, we, are we buffering? He, foofing back rails like that is so scary. Like, because you're just like, it, it's full commit, you know? Like, you have, like, from the second that you take off the lip, you have to be committed to going back in. Like, you can't just get up there and be like, all right, well, if I make it up there, we'll yeah. see what happens. No, you have to fully commit to get, you know, because that's far back, too. That's like, yeah, you know. Yeah, really far. Well, I thought he kind of messed it up there because he kind of held it for so long. Sometimes, if you don't yeah. get the bounce on and the bounce off, if it's not done yeah, in, like, one motion. Exactly. Go on, Lacey. There yes. he goes. See, is what we're talking about. Once he's on, he's on. He's on. Yeah. God, look how high he roasted the third wall. That thing is huge, too. He just finds speed out of nowhere in that. Oh, look my at the style on that. God. 
with that signature dance. It was signature Lacey, wasn't it? That was ah, dude. Lacey. Here we go with the pegs. 270. Oh, oh. deserved that. He deserved that. That he run deserved it. that to go. He had the Mario Kart star power going right there. He was oh, just like, he did, yeah. He was going. But I think we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna toss it over to the live commentary with Daryl and Van for these last few tricks and see, uh, see what they got going on over there. All right. Yes. Oh. All right, now what we're gonna do is go back to the top where our team is gonna have last tricks. Riders, I can't stress this enough, it is last trick, not last line. If you wanna do a combo, that's cool, but we're gonna just focus. Three attempts, three attempts for our judges. Our first rider is gonna be Dan Paley. He gets to select any obstacle in the park that he'd like, and he can focus on that. It looks like he's gonna drop in. Let's bring it up, let's back Dan Paley. Paley, wall riding 270. One and done. Curved wall ride to 270. One take was all it took for Dan Paley. He's limping, but he's smiling. Let's hear it for him, Hastings. That is what you want to do. One arrow in the quiver. Get it done. Again, it's an overall impression from the judges, and if a rider can do that, it will definitely help in their favor. All right, the second rider of Team Dan Lacey is going to be Devin Smiley. Smiley can select any obstacle that he'd like. Such a well-rounded rider. Smiley dropping in. Let's make some noise. Let's back Smiley. Bar spin, manual. What? Going backwards. Yes. was awesome. Putting it in reverse right there. Devin is Smiley getting it done. Right there, you see some team camaraderie. Chase Hawk is gonna drop in. He can select any obstacle that he'd like and try to get it done out here. Jace Hawk, such a well-rounded rider. What obstacle is he gonna choose? Keep that noise going. Pump him up, pump him up. Oh, get the manual. Yes. Watch Bull Corner, landing manual, going over the camel's hump, over the boom, up, landing feeble, 270 in. Very impressive trick right there. Team captain, Dan Lacey, giving some props to all of his soldiers here at the Swatch Battle of Hastings. And he is gonna have to decide which obstacle he's gonna throw down on. I'd like to point out how difficult what these guys are doing is and lacing it first try. And speaking of lacing it, let's introduce Dan Lacey to his last trick. All right, dropping in, he's a local. We gotta get louder than we have all weekend. One of your favorites, Dan Lacey. Oh, that's 
That's all right, Hastings. He's got three attempts to get this done for you. Get loud, Hastings. He needs you. Yo. He's looking for a little more. Hastings, we weren't loud enough. Come on. Lacey, this now is just for us. Ice pick! Oh! Uh -oh. Who wants to see Dan Lacey get this done right now? pull this I said do we want to see Dan Lacey pull this Disappointing you here, Hastings. He's one of yours. He lives across the street. And he's here to put on a show. All right, riders. Let's clear the course. Right now, we're going to have heat number two. Wow. That's all I'm going to say for now is just wow. That, that was a session. Yeah, it's good to stay on. It's good about well, most of the time. But. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a bonus when you stay on, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you came away unscathed. Yeah, well, I kind of bashed my knee pretty hard yesterday. Uh, nothing serious, but just one of them ones where it's like you warm it up and then you just catch it on your frame and your like, arse is moving side to side and your knees are kind of yeah. doing this and just... It kind of holds you back a bit, but when the adrenaline hits and you get warm and stuff, you know, it, it, like, you, it's go time. Yeah. So. It's go time, yeah, it's yeah, go time. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to come back in a minute with uh, Paley where we're going to do a few more questions for you, my friend. But for now, there's a short commercial break. Highly gifted, my jacket's thrifted. Watch me get a pattern shifted, just acting different. Living in my minutes, I'm catalytic. That's why they love the jacket style like it's on a civic. I will never pull the strings like I'm on the guard. I do my dance at the club with the lonely hearts. Watching all these little men try and be both apart. Make the rest of us do with their broken parts.
a little bit of action from Tom Justice there. You were just saying like Tom's been like your sensei over the past few days. I was just saying that Tom has like been my mentor and teacher for like the past month. I ride the same local park as him, Asylum, and like he's just always just giving me tips like do this and you know, oh yeah, you should go a bit faster here or aim a bit that way. And just I've been going rim rolling up to him like while I've been out there and I've been like, cheers teacher, yeah. cheers sensei. He's like, oh, give it over. He's like well too humble to accept it. He's but a like, good dude to learn from. His, sure. his energy is unreal, man. He's got his head in the right place. It's such a good thing to ride with that guy. And we saw there as well, we had the highlights from the rail jam like yesterday. I mean, yeah. dude, how sick was that rail jam? Unbelievable. It's like the fact that you've got like a rail and a quarter outside just gets more people outside of BMX involved. People who probably just walk past on the beach or the street, just stop in for a watch. And like we were talking about, like the handrails, like more relatable to an actual like handrail on a yeah. stair set, at like a shopping center or something, because it's like actually hugely proportioned. So it's like people are more likely to be like, wow, like that's massive or, you know, that's crazy as opposed to like a, like a skate park yeah. rail where you'd probably yeah. just relate it to like a little plaza or something. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 and, sure. and the high air too is like not going to the moon. So, oh, man, insane. Like we were saying yesterday, I think like, you know, Dovey's only just come down basically from that. It was insane. Those photos. Well, I look, actually looked at the height bar and I was like 12 foot. I was like, I'm going to have to stick another few foot on top. I know, that's, we said exactly Yeah, that's exactly. literally what we said too, yeah. <laughs> we, we've, uh, we've been saying as well that actually seeing you ride up there is kind of a little bit different than when we saw you ride like a few years ago, for instance. Like, you know, you'd have been heavily on the street side. Yeah. This time you're like 50-50 pretty much. Yeah. Well, past like three years ago, I broke my ankle pretty bad. Had like a 17 and a half grand operation, private operation to have like cartilage taken, taken out of my knee to, to fix it, which changed the course of my riding heavily because, you know, like dropping off of things and landing flat because I have reduced range in my ankle just makes like flat landings and stuff so much more like harsher and has a knock on effect on my body, like through my knee and, and onto my back. So I found myself, I was like, right, well, I either like don't ride or I just change, I have to change my style a little bit. And yeah. fortunately, I come from skate park. Like, I, I, you know, I road jump like. Yeah, you always had transition skills. Yeah, yeah up, well, yeah. I, I always road transition and I like moved to street and then I've kind of like gone back to riding transition and I, and I absolutely love it. And after riding transition, I've kind of figured out what grinds and kind of street esque stuff works for me. Yeah. So, like, I find that I have this like. Like right, the skate park stuff that I used to have, and then I'm just picking and choosing what I can like get away with, like yeah. street style. So it's just meant that for this event, it's been like kind of half ball and skate park, and then half like street plaza yeah. bit. Just trying to mix it up and. You know. Man, it we was it was sick. We were loving it. We were just like, wow, man, it's so good to see him like out on 50-50 on the course. But <laughs> yeah, because we could definitely tell there were I could definitely tell there was a difference. But I didn't even know about the ankle surgery. So yeah, that's, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that's 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 that. I mean, that's like that makes total sense. So mm. that's awesome. Well, it was like it was like since doing my because I did my knee likes about six seven years ago, and then that was a like I almost lost my leg, and then I was like, oh, is this gonna slow me down? And then. It did a little bit, but then I picked it back up and then did my ankle a couple of years ago and I was like, oh, this is going to stop me. And then did slow me down, but I picked it back up a little bit. It just means I've really had to change the course of what I ride and really be careful. And, you know, the mountain bike stuff, that, that came from, like, hurting my knee, you know, the suspension, like, easing it up and stuff. Yeah. And then the love for that just took off with riding the bike more. So just I just find that I just try and ride whatever I have. Hell yeah. Time, you know, so. yeah. And uh, bravo on your just one bang best trick. You're like, oh, free you. goes. <laughs> thank yeah. you, mate. I, actually, I was actually sweating because of my knee. I was really sweating doing last trick because I can, like, obviously get around the course and do my run, but, like, you're going to have to do something kind of, yeah. you know, a little bit out there. Yeah. But as I looked at the curve, I was like, I really like 270 out of that. And then, like, Ben Wallace was giving me the run down. He's like, yeah, you need to, like, come in like this and just, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going for it. And then it just worked. <laughs> Oh, Dude, yeah. well, thanks for coming in to talk to us. You are free to go, my friend. You are free to go. We're going to get Heat 2 up on the screen very shortly, so um, you, you just head off out there, bro. Go get yourself a cold one. You deserve it. <laughs> so here we go. Heat number two then. Mr. Hilda, Jake Norris, Jason Watts, Murray Labser, and Boyd Hilda. Stoked to, uh, to get our boy in there. Mr. Paley. Yeah, that was great. I and mean, that's crazy. I didn't even really know all that info about yeah, his ankle and stuff like that. I just assumed that I didn't realize was... it was that expensive. I knew it was all happening. Oh, my Jeez. God. That's crazy. But, I mean, it's good that he's kind of a... Uh... 
found a, uh, a solution to a bad uh, problem. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like, yeah. It's kind of a, been able to get on his bike. That's the worst thing. Whenever you're hurt, yeah. you can't ride, especially like the level that you want to. Like it's exactly. The worst, so. Right, and we are straight in then. Ooh, oh, straight Jake away Norris. with Jake Norris. Dude. Looks like he was going for some type of like maybe Nolly hanger or something like that yeah. and looped out. Been hanging with this dude a little bit over the past few days in and out of the hotel. Super nice guy. Yeah. Such a good rider as well. Brand new guy at a Battle of Hastings. Haven't seen him here before. Oh, Nolly over tooth. Wow, that's a gnarly move. Tires no foot can can. No way, Hell love that. Yeah, that's not a very common one. And like we said before, like some of these guys haven't done a full park run, and Jake is one of those guys. Ooh, tooth hardway 180. Uh, we didn't we didn't get to see Jake do a full contest run yesterday, so this is the first time. That's and, right. Uh, he was riding best trick yesterday. Yep, yep, yep. He just rode best trick, so we didn't get to see him do a full run. And uh, yeah. Ooh, nice little tuck no hander on the quarter pipe. Looks like he's staying more on the street side of stuff. Yeah. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. There you go. Looks like he's sitting that one out now then. Jake Norris first run number one. Remember, each one of these riders is getting two runs on the course, and then they get three attempts at best trick, or maybe one attempt like Paley. Yeah, that's all, I mean, that's hopefully, all they need. Ho hopefully it's just one and done, you know, but uh, I think we got Jason Watts up next. Right, come on then, Jason. Oh, look, the, the sun's out, gun's out. Oh, yeah. Who does he think he is? Showing off the tattoos and stuff. Mr. Buff guy. He's fast and loose shirt. Huge fast and loose guys. Corey Walsh, Matt Cordova, Chris Fox, all the boys. He just goes so fast, his sleeves fall off. That's all it is. Wow! That was kind of, like, delayed. Like, he almost did, like, a nose manual and then hang five. Oh, oh my God, dude! Oh, jeez! <laughs> that 360 fully penciled out there. God, didn't he? Like, that table was so yoked. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Oh, what in the hell? I <laughs> I don't know how the camera guy actually saw that. I didn't see that coming at all. I didn't know where he was going. I don't think I've ever seen Jason do that one. No, I thought it had gone wrong. I was like, whoa! That, Oof. Oh my God, word! The signature Jason dip threes were so nice. I mean, the best in the business, right? Oh, oh, the straight pullover. We saw him do the 360 yesterday in best trick pullover, but the straight yank is even harder, I think. Oh, look, he's gonna call it that. Yes, Jason. Mr. Watts. I love it when you know a rider drops in and the energy and pace and everything just kind of changes for a second. Oh, yeah. You kind of get that when you've got some riders coming. Changes in. for the better. Changes, changes for the better. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and, and I mean, it just changes the pace between, like you say, when you've got a street guy as well yeah. in comparison yeah, yeah, yeah. to then Jason drops in. Like yeah. the pace and tempo just changes. Yeah. Next up, we've got South Africa's own Murray Laubser. You just love to say his second name, don't you? I mean, I wish it was just straight lobster because that would be insane. Like, I know it's <laughs> not, but every time I say his name, I just want to say Murray Lobster because I just think it's amazing. The most <laughs> incredible name. Very unique. If his name was, like, John Smith, I don't think we would really be, uh, <laughs> we wouldn't be talking about his name, Quite you so know? Quite so stoked on it. Yeah. And he goes in. Yo! Ooh, pegs turned down over the rail. Yeah, got a good pop out of that as well. Where one of you backwards pegs. Ooh, oh, 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 get, get, got a little tangled up there. Improvising, improvising. Ooh, oh, yeah. switch hanger, switch bar. Ooh, the pegs down. Oh, no. Oh. oh, Dan Lacey just put a hit out on him. <laughs> That's a dangerous move. I don't know if I'd be doing that. Him around now. Lacey's gonna kill him after the contest. <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, Lacey would be fully stoked if did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the one-footed toboggan? All right. Getting all bold on us. Again, I don't, I don't really know what's better. If it's better for the street guys who just only ride the street stuff, or if the judges like it when somebody does both sides. Yeah, well, I was talking you know, to Hank about this, thing. actually, who's one of the judges, Dave Cleworth, better known as, as Hank. Um, I was talking to him about that yesterday, and he was like, you know, if you're just going to go over to the bowl and do a bar spin air, 
yeah. you're better off getting tech on the rails if that's what you do because you're going to score more oh, points. Interesting. But he said one of the criteria is use of course, so, you know. So he's like, if you can go and throw down in the bowl and you're a street rider, then go and throw down in the bowl. But don't just, you know, don't just fill some gaps for no reason. And that's a perfect explanation of why I don't want to be a judge. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's 100% an example right there. <laughs> I would have no idea. I'd be like, I don't know, I guess, right, everything or yeah. something? Like, all right, team captain Boyd Hilder. I mean, there's nothing I'm going to say that's going to make Boyd look better than what he already does. So I'm just going to let the run speak for itself here. And, and this is one dude who can hit anything on the course. God, man. I mean, anything. And he always looks casual. Like, like he never super. looks like he's trying super hard. Like that right there. That's yeah. crazy. That's super unique, super different. He's just like... And super that, tight, that quarter pipe yeah. as well. He's always just casually, just like, oh, I'll just cruise here, a little smile on his face. Like, oh, I'll just do a little one-hander, no big deal. But like, that's the thing. He's as comfortable in the bowl as he is on the rails. He's comfortable yeah, in the rails as he is a, in the bowl. You know? He's a full ATV, you know what I mean? Like, he's yeah. full... A Ooh, with the letdown, look back over that. Might need oh, yeah. a little work, you know, but we'll, 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 we will hold it against him with the, God, that foot jam was insane. Oh. the back from the Smith grind. Oh, my God. And the downside. God, did the needle nose. The, oh, my God. Yes, love that. That is how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Boyd Hilder. I expect nothing less. Of yeah. Every single time he rolls into this place, it is perfection. Do you feel every a bit more responsibility time. when you're the team captain? Do you like, I've got to turn up? I don't know, man. I mean, I, 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 maybe for some people, I definitely didn't. But, it, yeah, I don't know. You definitely want to set a good example. There, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Next up, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Reed Casey. Yeah, Reed. Reed is going to drop in and kill it. Fresh off the ninth birthday, no big <laughs> deal. He's definitely the first person that's ever had a birthday party uh, celebrated at a, at a Battle of Hastings. So, uh he is feeling good, and he is going to kill it out here. Yeah. He pulled a mean fake oh, yesterday. Yeah, he is going to be ripping it up. Let's see it. Yes. Oh, Brian Foster, Foster level tabletop over that the hip. That was sick. This I mean, man is straight up carrying this team here. <laughs> Big time. Damn, with the suicide no-hander. Oh, my God. I mean, he is super good and dialed already. When he reaches, like, you know, reaches, like, you know, a really old age, like oh 10. Can you imagine how good he yeah. is going to be like, Double yeah. figures. Yeah, at his, at, his, at his older age of 10 years old, he is going to be ripping. Get yeah. some speed up. Let's see what he's got. Yo! With the ET transfer up onto the hip. This man is teaching everybody a lace. J Jason, you need to take some tips on how to ride a bull from this guy. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I, I can tell you that he is the least tired of everybody else here. That youthful that youthful energy. He's just like, so can I go again? I'm not even tired. Yeah. He, only 50 seconds? Why is everybody out of breath? He's like, yeah, why, these guys are all out of breath and stuff. I feel great. But Reed Casey, MVP of the weekend by far. Big time. Well, we're going to go back to the top of the list again then. Everybody coming through with their second run. Ooh, Jake Norris with the over Smith. A little toboggan action. Yeah. Best, best start on this one than the other one. Yeah, he's feeling good now. You know, yeah. like, like we're zone. saying, like, if you're, if you're a new guy, this is like your first time riding like an event of this level. It is, uh, it's stressful, man. Oh, it is so. really, it's, it's really stressful, you know, and like one little hiccup, like messing up a grind at the beginning, it, it can throw your whole game off. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, he was saying, he said, I was like, I'm super nervous. I've never. You know, I've never been to the Bar Hastings. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's intense, man. It's intense, but it looks like he has gotten real comfortable now with a mean look back over the yeah. hip. Straight in the curve, all right. Jake Norris, ladies and gentlemen, he's making a damn good impression on these people. You, oh, uh, little slide down. Three, two, one, wow, yeah, I love press. that. That's gonna finish it off for him. Good shit, Jake. Yeah. Good job, dude. Run number two of two, and then he'll be back in again later with three attempts at best trick. So I wonder whether he's going to be trying that best trick that he was trying Oof. in the... In Hopefully the, he gets that, that 182, 180 bar that he was yeah. trying yesterday. But next up, we got Mr. Jason Watts. 
Needs no explanation this day, no, does he? I've gotten to spend a lot of time with Jason over the past few years. He always comes out to Swamp Fest and helps us build some cool stuff. And He was parked in his van in my driveway for about a month and a half after the event, and uh, I love Jason. He's the best. There's nothing you can, negative you can say about the man. He is a hilarious, yep. hardworking dude, you know. How stoked is, uh, you know, oh. is is uh read on that as well you know oh my god you, right? reed, yeah i was told that uh reed is jason's biggest fan you know so and all of a sudden they're teammates oh my god <laughs> jeez look at that one foot table up near the judges oh Roasted. my god that beautiful 270 to the hip wow, makes it look so effortless it's like unreal the boost button on that one set to 11. And it's crazy because with Jason, he uh, whoa, that was crazy. He can uh, he can spin both ways really easily. Like yeah. he's super ambidextrous when it go when it comes to you know spinning left or right or yeah. whipping both ways, decades, all types of crazy nose manual combos. Like, and it's weird because he does a lot of those crazy like just like just that, like that, the right crazy nose manual stuff. But uh, he rides a pretty long frame, which yeah, is kind of yeah. crazy. He rides a Corey Walsh cult frame, and the back end is long, the head tube's mellow. But he's really good at doing tech stuff, which yeah. makes no sense. Like it's you know you wouldn't uh, yeah, you wouldn't at, expect that. You yeah, know? it's like you say, he's super good on that front end. Yeah, know, as he just like almost demonstrated. Then he just came off he's, on that one, he, but he doesn't even know. have to land it. We know he's good at it. It's, yeah, it's fine. It's it's good. That Fantastic. bike's not set up for that type of trick, though, is it? Basically? No, hell no. People that usually do nose manual stuff do not ride a back end that's you know close to 14 inches long. Yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> like that is not common. But uh, Jason can do it. You know, yeah. he's the man. Mr. In there. Murray, Murray Lobster getting in here. I'm just going to say Lobster just because it's hilarious. So just, <laughs> sorry, Murray, you can be mad at me afterwards, but your name is amazing. I love it. Super cool dude, guys. Hanging oh out with him God. last weekend as well. Best. Absolutely shred as well. Over Smith. Yo. <sighs> Switching. Bars your, out. Shows you the progression of BMX that people can just casually do switch hanger bar spins like it's no big deal now, just in the middle of a run. There he goes. God, man. Doing that once bars. is like hard enough. He's just doing it Dude, on he, both runs. He just keeps doing it. He's like, he's on fire. And he's got a flare. Even that, the yeah. Wally 360 in, like on the rail, like that is no joke, man. So oh, oh, man, he wanted gets, it so bad. Just gets tangled up on that one. Nose manual 360s like that are a weird trick. It's like you have to just commit like right off the rip. Like I'm going in no matter if my back end drops or yeah, not. That's you know, yeah, you could yeah. tell that he was like, I'm going in. I don't yeah. give it, I don't care how if what's going on, I'm going in and uh, But the back end was having none of it. <laughs> luckily the bike the bike the bike didn't cooperate with him on that one. Maybe if he had Jason's geometry, you know, maybe he had <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He just needs a more mellow head angle and a longer back end, and he'd be that, fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If he had a mellower head tube angle, he'd be able to nose me a little better. I, I know that doesn't make sense, but uh, hey, it works for Jason. All right, team captains in then. Oh, starts it off. Look at that, love that. Monster Energy Zone, Boyd Hilder, Monster, the huge sponsor of this event. So thank you to Monster of uh, supporting Boyd and supporting the event. Boyd. God, that line is so sick. Nice that line is so cool. Doing like that inward wall ride I don't even know what to call it like he's wall riding like a the different way but yeah. it's not a pocket Ooh, yeah a that's a signature move for him as well and at that super can transfer oh that switch down whip on that oh, makes so easy that wall ride is so I mean you can see people are standing underneath it that thing is set up like seven feet above yeah. oh Oh, you couldn't tell from Rich Warren's angle, but that was a bar spin to wall ride on that little tiny pillar. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like the time is up on him. Yeah, that bar to wall ride he did on that little, that little thin, you can see where the sponsor's logos are going around the park. The little black uh, trim is what he just did a wall ride on. So uh, he did bar wall ride whip, you know, last year on that. So. All right, we're going to take it over to the live commentary with Daryl and Van. You know, boys, take it away. Right, we're going to get into the last tricks. These guys have three attempts to pull whatever they wish at anywhere on this course. Hastings, let's see what Reed Casey's got in store for you. Let's hear for Reed Casey. Superman 
Wow, Reed Casey getting it done. How about it, Pat Casey forever? So Reed Casey representing Team Boyd Hilder. Again, this is a last trick. Three times, three arrows in the quiver. Riders looking for that bullseye. We are gonna move along with Jake Norris. Jake is gonna have an opportunity. It looks like he's gonna focus on this street section. You know the deal. You're already hitting the banner up there. Let him hear you. Let him hear you! Big crash and he gets up! Jake Norris going for it. Focus on the battlefield. Let's start hitting it and bring up the noise! Get loud! Oh! So close. Jake, we're here with you. Take a moment and breathe. Get your composure. Look at this, some team camaraderie. You've got his soldiers offering some baby powder. Get the grips nice and chill. Have that energy. Take a breather. Jake Norris is still in the battle! All right, Hastings, Hastings, let's bring the noise down. Hold on, wait, wait. Wait, 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 no noise. Hold on. All right, will you stop the damn noise? Let's go! Team captain, what'd you think of your soldier? Mate, what a trooper. He hit the floor so hard to get up and lace it. What a man. Yeah, I have to agree. Boyd Hilder saying what a trooper. Hit the hard ground hard, got back up and kept going. All right, three more riders remain for their last tricks. I'm looking up at the judges, getting the thumbs up. We know what to do. Come on, Hastings, bring it up for Jason Watts! so technical right there. Wrapping around the bike, looking for the manual, and then popping back into the transition. Man, this is so crazy to see all the different styles. Absolutely, Daryl. This is some wizardry right here. You don't see a whole lot of decades out here, let alone a decade manual to 180. So let's get behind Jason as he tries to get this done. Hey, Decade manual. Oh. All right. He is going to have one more opportunity. He's up for a Nora Cup Transition Rider of the Year. That means that this man has been consistent all year, and if one rider can pull it out on the battlefield, it's Jason Watts. So let's start making that noise. Come on, Jace. 
decade manual. Oh. So close. So those three tries were for the judges. If Watts still wants it, this is going to be for us and everyone watching around the world. Let's get a little louder. Decade manual. So technical. He's back in it. He's back in it. Let's bring it up. Jason Watts. Decade. Uh. One more, Hastings. I can't say no to Jason Watts. So let's hear you say yes, please, Jason Watts. We want to see this. Just want to give everyone a reminder though, riders have three attempts that count towards their score. After that, it is just for the thrill of victory for everyone here in Hastings and all of our viewers watching at home. So psyched that you're joining us on our live stream. I know that riders down in Austin, Texas are watching out in Japan. Other riders in the UK who couldn't make it here. Big shout out back in Brooklyn. I know that all my boys are watching back at Mesrol, cheering on, getting psyched right now for Boyd and Maury. Dropping in, this is Maury Lobster. What? Yes! Maury finding a new line, walking the ledge. He looks doesn't like look he, done yet, Daryl. Looks like he might want something else. Boyd Hilder showing maybe a little preview. South Africa being represented. Get loud, Hastings, here we go! Yes! Oh! Wow, wow, spinning the 360. One rider remains right now. He is the team captain. He was part of the winning team last year. As Van Holman says, he has X Games gold medals. He can deliver when the pressure is on. Right now, give it up for Boyd Hilder. I am something up right now on that wall. What Smith out of the backflip right there. It looks like he wants a little more out of this right now. Boyd Hilder coming up. Look for it, backflip. Oh. Hilder, here we go. Oh. Hilder going for three attempts right there. Come on, we got to get a little louder. We got to get a little louder. Here we go. Oh. I think Hilder's got something additional he is looking for. All right, we're gonna give Boyd Hilder one more go at this. 
Come on, Hilder. Come on, boy. Let's get loud. Bring up that volume for Hilder. Oh. He's not stopping, Hasty. Come on, Hilder. Bring it up. Backflip. Oh. Let's hear it for Boyd Hilder! Wow, okay, so that wraps up heat number two. Well, heat number two done. Dude. Like, we knew it was gonna be big, we knew it was gonna be big, but every time they just blow me away, right? It's just yeah, like, I mean, I mean, Boyd, Jason, Murray, Jake. Does he get a better trail than that? You know? uh, it was so sick. Shame to see like Boyd not quite getting the trick in in his like yeah. three. I think like maybe a couple of them didn't get him in there in yeah. their three a lot of times. They only get three attempts at it, but yeah. you know. But yeah, it was great. I mean, I mean, obviously a highlight was Reed getting in there and you know pulling the huge Corey Nostalgia Superman out. Oh, that was so that was, sick. That was the best, man. That was so good. And speaking of highlights, we've got some more highlights coming up for you now. Just with the park sessions from yesterday, then there's going to be a commercial break. Then we're going to have sitting in the hot seat, Mr. Jason Watts. Smoking tires, baby. Denim cocks. <laughs> Back in, we have of course got the man that is Jason Watts sitting in the hot seat right here. We've got a couple of questions for you, sir. But you were responsible for uh, building that hella quarter pipe out there. That was sick, dude. Yeah, I was, guess I was responsible for if it fell over too. So uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm glad it didn't, and it turned out to be amazing. So well, your workmanship is pretty damn good. So thank you. I had the help from uh, Woodstock Carpentry. So the boys and us were, were just out there getting it done. Yeah. How, is that definitely the first time you built a quarter pipe on a uh, beach before? Mm, yeah, first time. At least a pebble beach. <laughs> I haven't done it on sand either, but I'm sure it'll come up eventually. So you got to explain to us then, if you built the quarter pipe, how the hell did you let Dubby beat you in the higher then? Oh, you know, he's a bit younger than me. <laughs> you know, I just want to make sure he gets taken care of. <laughs> you know, I had a bit more in me. I just, oh, I just want to do it to him. He might, <laughs> he might get real upset at it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he might We're, shed a tear or yeah, something. He yeah, he shed a tear. I'm already he in soft. his head in the park session, you know. <laughs> he's been casing and laying flat all day, so uh, I'll give him the high air, you know. Nah, it's hard to beat that kid. Something in his legs. He was yeah. super stoked with that. He, did. he was like, I even beat Jason. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've yeah. been uh, talking about it all week, so. Yeah. But he has a curse, he always uh, qualifies first and comes last, so <laughs> he's, stressing. he's stressing right now, so I've been telling him all day, I'm like, first to last, baby. <laughs> nah, he'll probably win anyway, but... Maybe, we'll now that, maybe now that he copied Boyd's haircut, it'll help him a little bit. Yeah, huh? that's it. He'll probably take Boyd's points and our points, yeah. you know? <laughs> well, how... Okay, so talk to us about how... You've been a captain twice. 
and you've been here on Gary's team twice and now Boyd's team. So do you feel like there's a difference of whenever you're a captain versus getting invited by somebody? Is there any like different pressure or do you feel like you need to deliver more because you got invited by somebody else or I feel is like there not a difference at all? I think there's a little bit of pressure when someone invites you then over like if you get invited yourself. I feel the same way, yeah. Like, I think the first team that we I won with in 2018 was just like all the boys and then I just built a party team for 2019. And we got dead last, first to last. <laughs> no, Corey actually got last, I got second last. <laughs> we were like, oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, we have, always have a good time when it's like your team, I feel yeah, like a little bit sure. less stress. But then when you're here for someone, if it's your mate, you don't mind. But if you're here for someone, I don't know. There's no stress at this contest at all, I don't think. Is it hard uh, riding a contest for five years on the same, like, similar layout and trying to find, like, new stuff to do? It is. I actually surprisingly found a new line this year. Yeah, I saw year, the, the Hang 5 up top. Yeah. yeah. Got to put a bit of legs into it, but, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Hell uh, yeah. It was, it's all good, so I found it. I mean, the atmosphere is always great out there as well, isn't it? It's insane. It's the loudest concert. Uh, Contest out there. Concert, you say concert. That's what, that's what it sounds like. I'm bloody, yeah, it sounds like a concert, just <laughs> rattling on those little plastic things on the side. Like, it's sick. It's like a Thunderdome. And it was good on the beach as well, right? I mean, like, yeah. we, we've been stuck in this, like, underground lair for the past, like, three yeah. days, so we didn't really get to feel it. But for all the riders have been coming in, with, like, it was insane. The beach is, was sick. I don't know if they'll ever get lucky with that weather again. I know. But I've been here for six years and, or well, five years, I think, and that was the most sunny I've ever seen it, so was good. Hell yeah. That's awesome, dude. Well, thanks for joining us, and I think we are uh, I think we're going to get into Heat 3 here. Oh, yeah. Dude, dude thanks for getting in, in here. Legend. Cheers, bro. Hell yeah, dude. All right. As he makes his way out, let's have a look at Heat 3 then. Team O'Kane. Here's the local guy. Jordan O'Kane, I was talking to him this morning. I actually had some breakfast with the dude. He was on good form. Looking forward to it. Sam Jones, Tom Russell, Jordan Godwin, and of course, team captain, Mr. O'Kane. But yeah, I was having breakfast with him this morning, and he was uh, he was super stoked to be in the finals. Like he couldn't wait. I saw him walk up the stairs earlier, and I was like, "How are you feeling?" He's like, "Ugh, rough, bruv." <laughs> I was like, yeah, "He said, man. why do I do it to myself, Seb? I just can't help myself." <laughs> he gives it all or nothing, man. I mean, you were saying he's like a Tasmanian devil, and that is for damn sure. He oh is, man, he is full speed at all times, whether he is landing in transition or completely dead flat. It does not matter. He is. Fully flexed out. I'm surprised that the, the, the skateboard doesn't have a crack in the bottom of it. I know, yeah, yeah. Riding. I don't know how he just doesn't rip rip his bars clean off his bike, yeah, just snap a stem just by the sheer strength of the man. Yeah, but uh, I think this next uh, next heat's gonna be pretty good. I mean, obviously Jordan Godwin, the monster rider, he is. Oh. Yeah. That dude is unreal. Tom Russell, quick fill in. I mean, we were. Felix Pragenberg was supposed to be in this group, but unfortunately yeah. he got hurt, and Tom Russell was on site to uh, fill in for him. But I think we're about to get things started uh, here with yeah, uh, Mr. Sam Jones. Sam Jones, front end assassin. Yeah. Dude, it sucks when you come all the way to a contest and you get freaking injured in the like. I mean, I mean, Felix got hurt literally like ten minutes before the event. Oh. Like he was. Ready to ready to rock and roll, and he got busted. And then Tom Russell literally had to like he was like he's like you want to ride? Yep, and he had to get right in there. But yeah. we're getting started with Sam Jones with the nolly over crank, tuck no hander, faking on the quarter. This dude is so good and so consistent. Yeah, I'm mean, giving him the curse of the commentator there, but there's that. You, you called him a front end assassin, oh. and I think that's what a yeah. front end assassin would be. Yeah. When's the last time you've seen somebody do that in a, con oh, no. in a contest <laughs> run? A hang five to long fakie hang five? I mean, jeez. Super bro. slow as well, that was. Like, yeah, really slow. It. Yeah, dude. He's, I always forget how good he is. Like, I, like li I've, I don't ever really get to see Sam ride in person besides Battle of Hastings. And whenever I do, I'm just, like, shocked at that. Look at that. 360 to Crook. And he does every, like, every time. time. Exactly. Every single try, he does that trick. I don't understand it. Whoa, Whoa. with that hand plant. What the hell? That's the Was flavor of the old school. That. Jesus. <laughs> Dude, he is insanely good, man. That is so crazy. Who the hell just randomly is like, ah, oh, hand plant over this, and then pulls it in a run. Yeah. 
I haven't seen him do that at practice at all. Just winged it. Like. I don't know how he does it. Like he just he like you know when I introed him in there, so he's just so consistent. And he is like you said, did that three into Cook. He's done that every time we've seen every him time. do it. He pulls it every single time he's done the three to Cook. But uh, next up we got Mr. Tom Russell. Oh no, it looks oh, like Jordan's going in there. Or what Jordan. Is that uh, Rebel Run? Oh, oh no, there we, we go. go. No, there's Tom. Okay. Yeah, like we said, Tom was filling in for Felix. Very, 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 very last minute. I saw him get a lot of practice today because I think he was like, man, if I'm going to ride, I got to ride finals now. I went from not riding the contest at all to being in the finals. What in the hell's going on? That! Oh my so God! So good. The front end with the nose slide. What in the hell? Nice. Tuck down Super here. slick yeah. as always. This guy's speaking my language. I love it. Man, he's like, you can't teach style. Do you know what I mean? You've either got it or you don't. And, and this. Dude's got it. But it's crazy because it's like he's, he's got he's got he's got the uh, the style with the techno handers and things like that. But then he does a barrel roll yeah. and then a nolly bar spin. It's like yeah. wait, what, wait, uh, okay, like Oof. carrying that speed across he's as got well. Classy tabletop too as well. Oh, oh my God! God. Truck, truck exit, turn. Truck exit turn down. Wow. Great Mark Mulvell esque. Yeah, I love that. His trick selection is amazing. It's speaking oh, your language, like you said. And then just hangs out a no foot for the Fids good is measure. Hyped. Yeah. Fids is hyped. Getting props from the boys. And from Dobby, of course. Next up, we got Jordan Godwin getting in here. Another dude who just like unbearably consistent. It's painful how consistent this dude is. It's, it's, he's, he's, you always know how good Jordan is, but when you see him right in person, it's just like, unreal. The only person who doesn't know how good old Jordan is, is Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> he's the only person who doesn't know. Well, and that's good because he's humble. You know, he's a humble dude that's like, lets his writing speak for himself, and it's like, there's nothing worse when somebody's really good and they're cocky. That yeah, is, yeah, that's yeah. the worst. So. Oh, he certainly is not. Oof. Like oh, that beautiful web. Yeah. Hang on, 180, crank over. God, man, this guy's on fire. Oh, oh. hanger on the outlet straight into that quarter. Almost straight into the crowd. Wow, dude, he, look at how many tricks he's done. Oh, no. It's like you can't physically call out every trick that you do because they're just doing something. Nolly pegs hard way down the rail. Downside Smith on the quarter. I love how all those street, like all the street dudes just do downside like chinks. On the oh my now. god! Like, it's yeah. nothing like it's just part of the run. Yeah. Ooh, another over crank arm. Blowing. God, man, look at that. He is dying right now. But He's every, out. Every single thing he hit there, he had a big trick on. God, he did like twice as many tricks as everybody else. That was insane. Incredible. Mr. Jordan Godwin is not disappointed. Yeah. My second Jordan in is going to be the team captain, O'Kane. Okay. Like I say, I keep coining in the uh, Tasmanian Devil. It's basically a triangle. <laughs> and he just <laughs> comes into the course and just spins and spins and spins and spins. Look, and the, even the whole top off thing, I love it. He just does that every time. It's Local. mad though, you know, like I talked to him again, like you say this morning, and he's like, he seriously suffers with like anxiety before these contests. Wow. He's like, I get so nervous. I was like, dude, just get out there and enjoy yourself. You don't need yeah, to be you nervous. Got it, like a huge gap to pegs to start off with. Yo! 360 over the rail. Love that tucked up. Ooh, yeah. nice dipped five over the head or the quarter. Now only mean? three. He's getting all Tasmanian devil on us now. That's what I'm that's what I buy into with Jordan. Again, one of the local dudes as well, so he's... Uh, oh my god, I love those 540s that he does. Yeah, super, super good. This is... That little line he does there is like pure Tasmanian yeah, the devil. Two, I love it. The 270 to alley to pocket. And then this, boom. Oh! oh just blows oh, a foot off. Man. And we know he's do, he's done that trick before, so oh, it's like loads. you know he's, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. he's capable. I think the last time he was here, he busted out on best trick, I think. 
Yeah, local boy, born and raised Hastings, local at the Source Park, and you can tell. It's all, it's, and that's what's really cool is between like him and Stu Chisholm, you know, it's cool to see like lo guys in Lacey that are local to this scene, yeah. like riding at this level. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's super cool and super rad. Right, I mean, Sam, the thing about Sam as well, he always comes up with like lines that nobody else is kind of trying, nobody else is doing. No, everybody's doing backwards hang fives in their run, obviously. <laughs> obviously, everybody's doing that. Here it is. Ooh, he's got the hang fives. He's going do the backwards one again. That is so crazy. That, that, is, is, so, that is so nuts. And now he's going so slow as well. Drop it in. That is crazy he's done that in both runs. Like, that shows how consistent oh, he is. Oh, so consistent. Oh, my oh. Curse of the commentators. We blew it. Shrek's I'm so again. sorry. Sorry. I'm, we, no. Oh, that that's tough. My bad. Hey, man, my bad. Yeah. Um, I accept full responsibility for that. <laughs> Tyra's Nolly Bar, though. That's gnarly. Like, not even just doing, like, a straight bar out of it, but just doing the Nolly Bar is so stressful. I can only imagine. So if you're only just joining us, welcome in. Heat number three now. And this is Jordan O'Kane's group, of course. Got Tom Russell coming up. Jordan Godwin there, you can see the camera locked on to him, but Tom Russell's gonna be the next rider who drops in. Ooh, this is gonna be go. second here run we on the go. course. Come on then, Russell. Oh, oh my God! I cannot stress it how crazy that is. That is so insane. He, 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 like, he makes it look oh, too easy, though. Makes my you know? skin crawl looking at that, just thinking about coming up short. Oh, my God. He's also done 10 tricks that I haven't announced because I was freaking out about the, <laughs> about the nose slide. Like a backflip turndown. Turn down, yeah. What in the hell? How do you do a nose slide on a vert wall and then do a backflip turndown? Like this dude's, or and then a pegless ice pick ride? God, man. Russell is so good. His trick selection is, or his, yeah. his bag of tricks is enormous, but his selection is like so good. Like I say, you know, style is one of those things that, you know, some people can ride, but style is something that you can't be taught. You've no, either, I mean, you no. basically either got it or you don't got it. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, you either got it or you don't. And Russell definitely has it. There's definitely no doubt that he's got, he's got the gift. He's the yeah, same Tom. as you. He's the same as you as well. Dude doesn't touch a drop of drink or anything like that. He likes a party, but <laughs> dude doesn't drink. Hell Lex yeah. is uh, riding to the talking. That's perfect. Next up, we got Jordan Godwin getting in here. I mean, no, same thing as Boyd. No, no intro needed. I mean, yeah. Y'all seen his video parts? You seen his part and freak? Oh my god! Oh god, yeah. Jesus. Pretty much any combo on a rail that you're like, I wonder if anybody's done ice over blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, he's done it. He's, he's done he's, it. He he he's the guy that's done all the, all those moves. All right, let's see it. Wow, Nolly Todd, that's like, oh, oh, damn it, dude. I've been seeing him do that in practice all week, no problem. Yeah. The downside Smith 180, because I've been seeing it, I've been like, damn, that's a really cool move. I've never seen anybody do that before. And then, of course, in the run, uh, it just comes up short. But. It's funny, when you, when you crash out at the beginning of a run like that, it can affect different riders differently. Some are like, brush it straight off and go, well, good, because I've got loads of time left. And others yeah. are like, well, that screwed it. That's yeah. really taken my mojo. But it looks like he's his mojo has not been, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, <laughs> You're ah. taking responsibility for that one. Damn it, I blew it again. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just gonna stop. I'm, just, I'm not going to say they're consistent. Maybe <laughs> if I do the opposite, I'm like, yeah, this guy never lands anything. Then all of a sudden, they're going to start landing everything. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's why I need to do. Felix, give him some love. Obviously, Felix having to sit this one out. Yeah, he'd be gutted on that. Like you say, it was like probably like five minutes before he was about to drop in. Oh, but dude. He's, you know. I mean, we were already in here getting ready to do the live stream when somebody comes in and goes, Felix got hurt. We're switching it with Tom Russell. Yeah, like, like, literally, it was that close to the contest yeah. where, like, they were about to pop off. But we got Mr. Jordan O'Kane, team captain, getting in it for this one. Ooh, Ooh, that big gap to pegs, Mad Mike style. Drop it back in. Oh, here we go again. Ooh, the truck, that truck over. over that? Yeah, I couldn't, even, couldn't tell whether he'd spun his bars or not. Truck driver is a 360 and a bar spin. Two tricks. I love whenever they explain it like that. 
The truck driver is a 360 and a bar spin. Well, some people watching might not know. There you we know. go. There we go. Hey, you never know. You never know. Go on, then, Jordan. How's he going to finish this off? It's going to be some there spin. We go. In it, that's for sure. There we go. And another. And another. Here we go. Hopefully, he can get this 72900 spin. I, actually, I don't even. Actually, oh my God. What is he going to try? I don't know. Oh, that's well, easy. So I, I have no idea. I have no idea what is about to happen, but I have a feeling he's jumping off of something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this I guy, haven't seen him like try this in practice, so this is straight. Let's see it, Jordan. What do you got? Oh my Look God, what's about to happen? Oh my God! Oh! His front wheel hit the railing. His front wheel hit the what? railing as he did the three. Oh my, oh my God. God, that was so scary. I wish we had a replay that we could see of that then, like a slow-mo of his wheel went, catch in. So he spins to the left, and whenever he went to go spin off the ledge, his front wheel bonked yeah. the plexiglass. But he still took it, still went with it. Dude, I, all I'm going to say is that happened to me one time, and it didn't end well. But I think that we are going to pass it over to Daryl and Van for the last tricks, and uh, good luck out there, boys. To keep this deck clear. Again, three attempts will count towards their overall impression with the judges. I'm getting the thumbs up from Dave Cleworth, Ruben Alcantara, Axel Jurgens, Owen Clegg, and Corey Martinez. Sam Jones giving the thumbs up. What is it going to be, Hastings? He can pick any ramp that he wants. Looks like going up on the front wheel. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. He's still going. He's still going. Going down. Back up. Are you kidding me? Come on, Sam Jones. Come on, Sam Jones. Yes. For seven years of Source Swatch Battle of Hastings, and I have never heard it get so loud in here. One more time, Sam Jones! Wow, Van, that is what happens at last trick. Unbelievably technical, Daryl, and you know when you have a Someone like Matias feeling the need to come out and give that props. You know it's some technical skill happening right there. Unreal. Riders can check anything they want to do on our underground skate park. Whether it's a big gap, a jumping trick, or a technical combination like Sam Jones did across the entire skate park. Unbelievable stuff. Right now, though, it's going to be Tom Russell with his opportunity to select any obstacle in the park. Three tries to count towards his team's overall impression. He's going to drop in on the bowl. Oh! Getting very technical there. We saw some kind of front wheel nose bonk. Maybe a backwards nose manual over that hip. Time will tell what kind of ammunition is going to be used by Tom Russell. Here we go. Oh, Van. This is going to have to be seen to believe because it looks like he's coming down backwards in the transition, potentially with that front wheel. Hastings, when Tom drops in and hits that bowl corner, can we bring the volume up then? When he hits that bowl corner, 
Right now he's getting a little bit of review, a little bit of words of wisdom. Coming up with the Battlefield game plan. What's up? When he drops in, this is it. Third try. Bring it up, Hastings. Bring it up. Oh. Let's hear it for Tom Russell. So that was three attempts towards his score for his team, Jordan O'Kane. And now this is just for the fans here in Hastings and the thousands watching around the world. Gonna take this opportunity to give a big shout out, even at home, cheer on Tom Russell. Here we go. Oh! All right, put your hands together and give it up for Tom Russell. Good showing right there. You can see the team cheering on our next rider because it's all going to be about Jordan Godwin. Jordan Godwin, one of the most technical street riders today, has the ability to ride with his feet in either direction, grind on either side of his bike going forward or backwards. The potential tricks are endless. Dropping in for Jordan Godwin. Here we go. Whoa, getting the back wheel. Trying to find a manual. So Van, even though we see this is last trick, a rider can link it all together with the manual on the front end or back end. Absolutely, Daryl. He is looking to link together a very technical combination right now. Nolly, pedal, looking to lock into that manual. He's still got another go. Let's see if he can put it all together for you right now, Hastings. Let's get behind Jordan Godwin. Unbelievable, Van. We just witnessed two super hard, technical, long combination tricks by Team Jordan O'Kane. As we mentioned, three chances. The riders get the count to their score, and Jordan Goodwin getting it done. One rider remains, the fourth rider and the team captain. Always a favorite here, fueled by his daughter being a father. Looking to drop in, this is Jordan O'Kane. Looking for that pocket wall ride 180 right there. Getting a little tangled. I know he's nursing a sore ankle, but he's up on his feet. And back on his bike. Let's hear it for Jordan O'Kane Hastings. O'Kane, half man, half beast. Here we go. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh! So close. Dumping off the back of the bike right there. You can see the support from Sam Jones, Jordan Godwin, and all of Hastings. Jordan. 
taking a very important sip of Brewing Brothers beer. We weren't loud enough! We weren't loud enough! We weren't loud enough! Closer than that. You can taste it. You can taste it. You got this, baby. Half man, half beast, Jordan O'Kane. Going up. not quite getting that. I mean, I don't know whether he was like trying to get 450 out of that even. Like, it looked like he had a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, I know that he's done the, the pocket wall 450 like before in the past. And I think that like once he did the 180, he was like, I'm just going all the way. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it going. So, and when he yeah. Clipped, when he clipped his front wheel on that three oh drop, my God. you were like, I mean, tell us a story about when you did that. That happened to me one time, and I ended up in the hospital with a broken leg. So yeah. not on not on that setup, not that not, not that, that setup, but, but a, set, a setup similar to it. And I hit my clip my front wheel, and it didn't end well. And I glad that he survived that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. Well, we've got some highlights to just look at from the high air contest. If you didn't see that, check out these highlights and make sure you watch it in full on the YouTube channel. See you in a minute.
Welcome in, welcome in. We've got in the hot seat this time, sweaty mess, Jordan Godwin. <laughs> <laughs> Coxie from the booth just said, he looks like a sweaty mess, dude. It's hot out there though, right? It is absolutely boiling in there. This is probably the, the hottest I've ever been in Hastings, to be honest. It's usually raining when we're here and it's like 24 degrees and we're indoors, underground. I know, right? <laughs> and it, that heat though was there for the rail jam. We've talked about it a couple of times. How sick was that rail jam, dude? That rail jam is one of my favourite events of the year. Obviously, it started last year, and this year, when I got the invite, I was so looking forward to it. Couldn't wait. Was it a lot easier to ride it with the quarter afterwards, not having to slam into the guardrail? Uh, yeah, like, some for some things it was, but then for other things, you're, like, slamming into a quarter. If you, like, coming... For me, I was coming out pretty slow, but yeah. I've seen some guys, like, cabbing pretty fast into the quarter, and sometimes if you cab front wheel first into the quarter, yeah. it can probably hurt more, but... Yeah. Had his pros and cons. Interesting. Hell yeah. So your team had to swap out Felix. He's like, we we'd actually, we were just saying, like, we didn't know what happened to him because we had him on like our list and we were like, oh, it's going to be Felix up next. And then they're like, no, he's not. He's just injured himself. We're like, what? what? Like, what happened? Yeah, literally, like, right before the park yesterday, like, like literally, like, five minutes before it started, if that, he just did, like, a big three one-hander to fake you on a quarter and didn't get his hand back on. And when he landed, the bar just, like jabbed oh, into his ribs oh, and he broke I think yeah. he yeah he broke his ribs so Oof. yeah that is li broken ribs is literally the worst feeling ever yeah it's, I'm sharing yeah, a room it's the him. absolute like, worst I was sharing a room I'm sharing a room with him and he's like getting up and he's like oh uh, like oh. trying to get down like this like you just can't find normally when you break a rib the next thing that comes is you get a cold and a cough and you yeah. need to have to sneeze <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. continuously yeah, yeah. <laughs> so was was Tom Russell just was he just there or do you guys like, I mean, obviously you didn't plan for it, but like, how did that come about? Uh, I was literally, I saw, George wasn't there and obviously George's the team captain. So I saw the crash and I ran to find George and I asked Tom if he had seen George. And I was like, oh, that's actually, he's really good. Like he would be a really good replacement. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, if you see George, let me know. And I might be coming back to see you in a minute. <laughs> and then he ran and got his bike, like dropped in, did two laps around the ball and then just started. I was sick, that's you. Jeez. You orchestrated it. You literally had no you practice. You made the executive yeah. call. You're like, you're in. I was like, you're, you're it, you're in. <laughs> oh, dude. Enjoy, you enjoying the contest in general though this year, yeah? Yeah, it's always fun. Every oh, year, it's always a good time with everyone. But yeah, belter. Well, you make our job nice and easy because you're sick out there, bro. Thank you, Thank you very much, Thank my you. man. Thank you, boys. Though. You yeah, are yeah. free to leave, my friend. <laughs> just wave goodbye to the good people at home. The legend, Jordan Godwin. Nice one, dude. Yeah, Thanks boy, for that, bro. Thank in a bit, in a bit. Heat number four, up next, Team Leos. The legend that is Leos. Courage Adams, Kevin Peraza, Alex Donerke, Sergio Leos. Um, yeah, a few big names in this one. Yeah, man, yeah. It's, I mean, Kevin Peraza. Like, and Kevin Peraza, Courage Adams. I, 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 I mean, the whole list is insane. Alex Donerke, Sergio. Sergio, he, 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 I'm, I'm going to say he was going for the win with this pick on this team. Yeah, he definitely was. He wasn't <laughs> messing around, was he? I mean, not saying they're all not having a good time, but uh, Courage Adams, Kevin Peraza, and Alex Donicky is your team. Uh, you're, you're, definitely, you're definitely looking for the W on this one. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I always say, like, I don't know, Sergio is obviously a legend of the sport, but I never feel like he gets, like, the full credit he deserves for some reason. I don't yeah. know why. It's like, he is incredible. Yeah, like, dude, he's insane, man. It's, it's, and it's, like, uh, not to be cliche, but, you know, he does get better with age. Oh, know, that, that's a, that, that sounds like a very cliche saying, but, I mean... Please argue against my at that point. Yeah. You know, please, please, please give me a reason to not think that. But yeah, he is literally. He gets every time I see him, he gets smoother and smoother and smoother and more dialed and more. It's it's insane. I think the reason he gets better with age is because he doesn't age. <laughs> something, yeah, something that Spanish water, I guess. I mean, speaking of Spanish water, I mean, Courage Adams, like living, you know, him living in Spain. Like, yeah. God, man, something that he's doing is making his riding insane as well. You know. I pretty much safely say we're going to see him on the front end at some point during his run. That's that's for sure. Yeah, and it's cool because I mean, like like we were saying that like some of these guys just run, you know, road best trick, and uh, we haven't seen Courage put together a full park run, so this will be pretty good. Oh my God, that hanger was so steep, straight into that nose manual. Oh, improvise with the front end to the back end. All right, with the bar. All right. I don't know if that was on purpose, but uh, hey, making it work, you know. Yeah.
I mean, he's been on the scene for wow. a good few years now, but he sort of burst onto the scene when he came on it, didn't he? He kind of came out of nowhere and then was like, who the f is yeah, Courage Adams? Like, yeah. Wow, up around the switch whip. And that's the thing is that like a lot of people think that Courage is just a guy that does a lot of manual stuff, but like he's got, he can do huge tricks and he can also do super crazy technical yeah. tricks like an up rail switch whip or a crazy manual 180. Like, that's just straight talent, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. not like, you know, yeah, he can do nose meals really far, but he can also do a million other things. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Well, run number one of two for him there. Don't think it went quite according to plan. There's a couple of spills here and there, but that's why you got two runs. I mean, that was his first run of the entire contest exactly, that we've seen yeah. in the park contest, so, you know, maybe he's uh, just getting used to it. Getting used to the flow out there. Like we said, every single one of these riders are getting two runs on the course. If you're only just joining us, they get two runs on the course, and then we go back to the top of the list, and then they have three attempts at best trick. So, yeah, the Swatch Battle at Hastings 2023 is not disappointed. One iota. No, man. I mean, it's exactly what you expect. You expect for the riding to be insane. And, you know, speaking of insane, Kevin Peraza. Kevin Peraza. I mean, we saw him do that huge flare whip. Box jump, transfer, bowl to bowl, whatever the hell you want to call it thing last year. And damn, dude, that was crazy. Yeah. Like, it's fun, I funny, you know, I think this kind of course, it's kind of like, surely this is like, it's like it's made for him because it's got the right amount of street, the right amount of bowl, the right amount of transition, transfers, everything that he's good at, all tied up into one room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, for sure. I mean, it's, he... I mean, he can literally ride anything that he wants, and, uh... Wow! Oh! Wall ride to... That wall is so far back. So far back. And it's not that high, either. So, like, doing a wall to whip on that is insane. God, that... Signature Classic. Movie. Superman seat grab Indian Air from Kevin. There's never a smile far from his face, either, is there? No, guys? man. Always. Always cheesing. I might say Whoa! Whoa! God, the alley -oop is nutty. Switch down whip in the classic. Yes. Brazza nose manual 360. There you go. That was him. What in a nutshell. World? Dude. He has so many tricks that no matter. I mean, I, I said it yesterday, but like, no matter what ramp he hits, he can just pick a trick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, I'm running out of speed. Maybe I'll just uh, flare fly out. Yeah. Uh, maybe nose three. Uh, maybe I'll do a decade in. Maybe yeah. I'll, you know, half cab whip. You know, like, he can just pick any trick that he wants yeah. and just execute it. Like, and that's reflected in the way it looks. Because like you said, it always just looks like, what, what, what? But you, yeah. Like, some riders, you kind of, you can tell that they've got this pre-described run yeah, that yeah. they're planned, they're doing. And when it goes like, wrong, it's wrong. It throws them. Yeah. Whereas Kevin can just like, if some it goes slightly wrong, you'll just adapt it and change Later, it. Later, that's, like, I mean, I mean, you literally saw it. He did, he did the wall ride to whip on the back wall and he kind of landed a little kooky and he just hopped over the rail, yeah. landed in the other bank and then just hit the hip afterwards. Yeah. Like, I don't even think that was intentional, but he did it fine. But uh, next up we got Kevin's Donaghy. monster's uh, monster teammate, Alex Donaghy. Yeah, he's in. Oh, oh Al. It wasn't our fault that time. Come Alex Donaghy is not consistent. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just trying to make it a point to, uh, I don't want to blow, I, if I say he's consistent, he messes up. Yeah, so that's I don't it. Wanna, I don't want to say that. Curse of the commentator is real. Wow. Yes. That was sick. The long nose, the pegs, bar. I know, I know I always say about these UK riders, you know, obviously learning the UK riders better than the US riders, you know, etc. Like, Oh, but that was that. Sorry, that was off, sick. That was really cool. No, no, no. I needed cutting off for that for sure. But they, they just like they're so like humble. They have no idea because you know us dudes have always looked up to you guys in the states, and we're always like, you know, yeah. that's that's who that's what we've got to be yeah. like. We've got to be like they are in the US. But like then you've got these riders come through like that, like Donna Key come through, yeah. and they've just got no idea how good they are. It's yeah. like, no, you are one of the best riders yeah. on the planet. <laughs> you realize that, like, yep. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, I mean, he definitely, uh, yeah, Al is definitely one of the best uh, in the world. And speaking of the best in the world, we got team captain Sergio Lejos. I mean, this, this is like schooling of how to ride this place when they do I mean, look, he's literally starting. 
from one end, and he's going to go and hit the, all the way to the complete opposite side. Classic Sergio speed. Love it. Ooh, oh. that is sick. When he does the wall ride and then gaps out of it like that. Just, oh! That, oh, my God. Love that. Wall ride, turn down on the Vans wall. Can a bit of speed up. Oh. We're saying like, he makes yeah. that look so easy. I think he stopped time in midair then. I'm pretty I think sure. it was hit, he almost hit the camera at the little cable cam that was above. Oh my gosh, dude, he went so high on that one. Yeah, it's like the bike caught him up, like, <laughs> carried on rising. Classic Sergio Toboggan. Yep. Even getting a bar spin in. Oh! How does he forget that he can do those tricks? Yeah, I know. Like, just, look, he just ended it with a bar spin, a flare, into a foot jam whip. I had completely forgot he can do all those tricks. Three tricks that you just wouldn't see him do every day. You know? Yeah. It's like... I mean, I grew. I, I mean, I'm 31 years old. I grew up watching Sergio as a rider, and uh, <laughs> I had the system video growing up. His part in the system video was always one of my favorites, and uh, it's, it's it's cool whenever somebody that you grew up watching you end up being on the deck with them. You know, super, like that's yeah. super, that's oh, super, man. super rad. Be stoked. I think he even surprised himself with those last three tricks as well. Yeah. Like, he was just make. There's no way he'd have like. Thought I'm gonna do those. That's gonna be my last three tricks. I'm gonna end with that. Just came out of nowhere, you know. Oh, I got a bit of time left. I'll do. Uh, I'll do a flare. I'll yeah. do a foot jam whip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Next up, we got Mr. Courage Adams. Back to the top of the list, then. Yeah, but his second and final run in before we get into the best trick action. Go on, encourage. Oh, oh no. Come on. But this is what I mean. You've got a whole run left ahead of you, right? You've yeah. got a whole time left ahead of you. So you jump back on. Courage is also, like, you know, from the contest I've seen him ride, he definitely is an all-or-nothing rider. You know, like, yeah. whenever he whenever he does something, you know, especially, like, these long nose males, it's, like, it's all-or-nothing. Like that. Boom. Like, oh, dude. That is so insane. Literally, there's nobody on planet Earth that can knows me like this dude does. Backlash at that bar. Bar to ice. Yeah. Let's see what else he's got. Oh. Yeah, crazy legs on that one. With the peg switch whip. 180 backwards, tooth, 180. Gonna be final trick time. Oh, oh. my God, dude. Oh. How did he get a look at Antonio Smallwoods patting his chest on the side? Because that was yeah. such a close call. He did the pegs and he like kind of slipped off, and I don't know how. He, he kind of like leapt frog the whole rail. Like yeah. his legs were up like a like a long jump. He legs. had to be within inches. Yeah, of yeah, his yeah. Feet clipping that rail. Just tucked up. Best trick's going to be interesting with him, though, as well. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, I know that's probably not the run that he was wanting, but uh, I'm sure whenever he gets those three tries that last trick, he's going to really nail it. It's what's rad about this format, though, when you get to ride with the rest of your team. You know, the final thing in the whole contest, you make it to the final, and it's like you're just riding with the boys. Yeah. Oof. It's, it's amazing. Braza starting out with that wall ride whip again. Oh, oh my yes. God. The Super Seed Indian. Gapping style. back. Ooh, classy no-hander, straight into the flare, straight into the vert wall carve. Kept, kept that like no-handed so extended. Like, is he going to land no-handed? I always want to, I, I, I've never gotten to ask Kevin, but I always want to wonder if he plans these runs out or, yeah. if it, or if there is an element of surprise. Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, luckily, bummer wiping out on that one. Because it, do, it does look sporadic. Sometimes. It does. Like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it doesn't. Like it, sometimes it looks planned out, but then sometimes I'm like, is he just winging it right now? Like, is he just like, yeah. is he just like, just figuring it out? I, I don't know. But you know what? As like a spectator, like, do, do you know? Do you prefer a run that just looks oiled and slicked and done, or is it like that unexpectedcy of like, whoa? You don't know. No, I want on. the wild side. Yeah, I want, me too. I want, I, I want, I want it to be like, I don't know what I'm about to get, or even the rider knows what they get, and it's like. Yeah, obviously the professional athlete mentality is to have the perfect run that scores the best, that blah, 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 blah. But like my BMX soul doesn't want to see that. Yeah. I want to see somebody go out there and send some crazy shit, yeah. you know? <laughs> like that's what, that's what I think that's what we all like yeah, really want to exactly. see, you know? Like that might not be the best technical uh, uh, view on it, but. <laughs> 
We got Donicky getting in here. Yeah, he's getting the job done this time. Hopefully no curse of the oh, That's all right. There we go, oh. improvising. Yeah, exactly that. He's slinging the bars left and right. Alex Donicky has uh, invented many tricks. Ooh. Love that one. Love that line. Not seen anybody else do that line. Yeah, that, like, that's from that a, side. That's a nice one. Yeah, he's done a few NBDs. Been the, one of the first people to do a lot of first tricks, and uh, yeah, this dude deserves major credit for uh, pushing the limits of BMX street riding. You got to call it that. Getting some props from the boys. Deserves it. What well on Donna Key again? Such a cool dude as well. Such yeah, a nice, nice, humble dude. I think real quick, let's give a shout out to the sponsors. Swatch, Vans, Monster, Fireball, BSD, Cinema, Fiend, Fly, GT, Kink, Mankind, Odyssey, Profile, Shadow, and We The People. Thank y'all so much for getting involved with the event. Without those sponsors, this event wouldn't be able to go on. And huge shout out to the source for uh, putting this whole thing on. That's right. We got we Sergio go. getting in there. Go on in, Sergio. He's going to open up the throttle, get a bit of speed going. Yeah, nice and high on that wall ride. Oh, classic Sergio. As clicked as that trick can be done. Roasting. That line right there is so cool. It just looks like he's hitting, I mean, he is hitting so many different yeah. things. Like. That is crazy Oof. too. That pullback is no. Oh! <laughs> With the wild downside whip. Holy shit, that was crazy. That was so good. Woo! See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you want to see somebody go send something yeah, like that's that. It, yeah. Just like, I mean, Sergio is, is has has pushed the limits of what downside whips could do. You know, I mean, he yeah. he's always done some crazy downside whips. And that one, you can tell that he's just like. He's like, all right, I'm going for it. Here we go. Yeah, just like yeah. letting it rip, you know? Like that's that's so rad. But that's what I mean as a spectator. We were both like, whoa. Yeah, you love that, man. Right, we're going to go back onto the course now for the best trick. Each rider getting three attempts on bench trick. And we are going to uh, hand it over to Daryl and Taylor. Wherever they want on this source park. Our judges are ready, so we're going to get started with Courage Adams. I'm going to move over because you don't know where he's going. Courage is such a technical rider. He has the ability to pull off the impossible when the pressure is on. Even though this is his last trick, a rider can link things together with their front or back wheel in a manual or nose manual and Courage Adams is gonna have the opportunity to pick his line on the world's largest underground skate park. Dropping in here at the Swatch, Battle of Hastings, nose manual, back tire manual, bar spin, manual, nose manual, oh my gosh. Van, that would have been somebody's last and best trick all in one, but we saw Courage was looking to keep it going even further. He's gonna have two more times to try to make the impossible possible. Absolutely, Daryl. Unbelievable display of technical riding right there. On the front wheel, on the back wheel. Let's see how many combinations he can put into this one link. He can do it like absolutely no other. All right, nose manual, back wheel manual. What? Bar spin manual. Trying to get such technical abilities done. We see Courage has no brakes on his bike. It is freestyle. You can decide if you want them or not. If you don't have them, you gotta be more balanced to find that sweet spot. Courage looking to just bring it to a whole nother level. He wants to hear ya. He wants to hear ya. Courage Adams dropping in. Back wheel manual. Bar spin manual. Nose manual. Back wheel, front wheel. Oh. 
so crazy to see how many tricks he put into one run. He's gonna take a moment, take a breather. So three attempts the riders have towards their team's overall impression. So this right now is for all. Uh, When courage drops in, I want you to get louder than you have so far, because we are witnessing the impossible become reality. Bring it up, Hastings! Nose manual. Ah. Oh. Back in it. Nose manual. Back wheel manual. Bar spin manual. Van, he's locked in. Is this gonna do it? Oh. Hastings, do you want to see this? Courage. Everybody around the world wants to see this. Hastings, one more time, do you want to see this? Here we go. Locked in. Bar spin. Manual. On the front wheel. Back wheel, back and forth. Come on, come on. Come on! <laughs> so close. So close. If the shirt comes off, you know it's getting hot in here, and you know we're going to see it go down. I don't even have to tell Hastings what to do. You want to see it more than I want to see it. Bring it up, Hastings! Nose manual. Back wheel manual. Bar spin. Can he do it? Nose manual. Can he do it? Can he do it? Yes! Super technical. Our next rider is always a favorite in our last trip. Pushing the sport of BMX forward. This is Kevin Peraza. Up on that 
fans goal ride. One and done. Oh wait. Oh wait, he's not done. Is he done? Is what? Oh yeah. He says, I got three, I got three hits, I got two more tricks. You want to see Kev Marazza do two more tricks? Here we go, Kevin Peraza! What? Oh! One hammer, two hammers. Kevin Peraza, you got three hammers? Any other rider? But there is only one Kevin Peraza. Bring it up! Bring it up! Let him hear you! Oh! All right. That's it for Kevin Peraza! Kevin, always a favorite here, with good reason. I love this contest. Do you guys want another one? Hastings, my man said, do you want another one? Kevin has been here year after year, dropping hammers nonstop. Let's say thank you, Kevin Peraza. All right, let's clear the course. I have a hunch we're gonna need room on this street course over here because our next is one of the best street riders to ever do it. Alex Donaghy, whenever they get out of your way and you're ready to go, you can rock and roll. Up on the nose, pegs, hard 270 over, like it's no big deal. You're good, he's got it. One try, you want more? He wants more, he wants more, Hastings. Feeble, Smith, looking for that hard 180 out. All right, Alex has got one more hit at last trick. Setting up. Feeble up the A-frame, Smith down, hard 180, perfect! Alex bringing his originality. We're gonna let our judges tabulate the scores up there. They've got a lot to think about. So many different styles. So many technical elements to each rider out here in the source park. So as they're thinking, we're gonna get ready for our next rider on deck is Sergio Leos. Looks like the judges are ready to go. So Sergio, whenever you're ready,
The Source Park belongs to you. Sergio Leos getting locked and loaded. Building up his momentum. Looking for his line. Sergio can just roast into the pocket. And he's trying to find the perfect speed downside tail whip at height. I love you. Everyone steer clear as Sergio is just pulling back the throttle right now. Here we go. Oh! Sergio getting some support from Swatch's Matias Dandois. The Frenchman is here cheering on the Spaniard as he is getting ready for his third full pole. The finesse. Come on, Sergio, here we go. Yes! Wow, so that's gonna wrap it up for Team Sergio Leos. Five minutes will be on the clock for our warm-up for Team Josh Dove. Garrett Reynolds, Tom Justice, and Lewis Mills, five minutes. If we can have all riders take a step back off the bowl. Well, that did not disappoint, did it? We knew Sergio's team was not gonna disappoint. Ah, uh, man, man. Me. Courage, Kevin, Donaghy. Sergio, insane. I stoked, like, Courage got that, that final line. I mean, it oh wasn't within God, his three yeah. attempts, but so it wouldn't have been judged. This is, this, but this is, ba this is Battle of Hastings. So yeah, that's that, that stuff We make better. up the rules here. Yeah, we go. If, if Daryl says, do you guys want to see one more? He's going to do one more. Let's, do, let's be real. I'm never going to get tired of your Daryl like, <laughs> like, impression. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Right, um, we'll be back in a few minutes with uh, the man that is... Mr. Kevin Peraza, he's one of the nicest men on the planet. But for now, have a look at some of the best trick action that happened on the course yesterday. See you in a bit. Welcome back in, everyone. We've got one of the nicest men on the planet. I always introduce you like that because <laughs> you basically are one of the nicest men on the planet. Kevin Peraza, 
Dude, as a man who, like, pretty much, I think you've done every contest the planet has ever put on. <laughs> How does this contest compare in comparison, you know, like a team event like this? You know, what's that like? I think it's special, you know, I grew up watching BMX, BMX freestyle, no right or wrong way to do it, you know. Uh, I think Trey can agree to me, every, every rider that really curated what BMX is was panning all these just different disciplines and, and it was just falling into place or more or less, you know, with the way your bike was set up to what was available at the time and that to me was BMX, you know, and so growing up in Arizona, I didn't have an indoor skate park or anywhere to ride until I was already fully riding, riding. So I was riding street, I was racing BMX, I was riding ditches or even just out front on the curb, you know, and that to me, BMX is, is everything, you know, and to come here and to share that same stage with three other teammates that are all differently incredible in their own way, it's, it's such a treat, you know, and the team aspect is, is, is incredible as well. Although we all hang out and compete against each other year round, I think when we get together, we feel that energy and we try to work together to just treat everyone to something different, you know. Yeah. It's a session out there, right? It's kind of just more like a session. Yeah. yeah. Hell and talk, yeah. talk us through the, um, you, you know, the best trick section of that just then. Like, what were you going for then? Because you, <laughs> you pulled the first one just super easy. I was like, I'm just going to put the bike down, one bang down. I mean, from last year, I didn't, I had no idea what I was even going to do last year. And, and to knock out the flur whip to fakie last year, I was like, I don't really think I could do anything else here. <laughs> but um, through the year, your, your writing evolves to, through what you listen to in music, to who you hang out with. And into how you're feeling, you know, and to come back this year, a whole new different person, new rider, new style, new tricks, new ways of seeing things. Uh, I was obsessed with that Vans wall ride and uh, been thinking about going like switch wall ride 270 tricks in. And uh, I was initially trying to do like switch wall ride 450 to fakie and something right. to fakie, but um, I was like, oh, I'll warm up with a 270 and I was like, oh my God, that was so perfect. And I was like, I don't know, I think I'm okay with that, you know, like... The <laughs> I mean, any other human being would be. Yeah, I, I, was, I was so happy that it worked out perfect the first time, then I was like, I, I'll take that. And then Van's like, is that what you wanted? I was like, no, but I'm happy with it. He's like, well, you got three tries. I was like, can I do three different tricks? <laughs> He's like, sure. I was like, all right. Uh, I, I messed up in the middle of one of my runs and I never got to the wall red and I wanted to switch down whip it because I started my first run with the wall red whip in the back. So I figured I'd come to the Vans one and do switch. So kind of do one and one. And so I wanted a little bit of redemption on that. And then it just, I just kept going with the flow and the, the energy was so good. I was like, I have to, I have to keep trying until they kick me out of here. <laughs> oh, dude, well, we, we loved it, my friend. Like, Thank give you. us one of those. Oh, yeah, dude. That was you, awesome. You're free to leave here now, my friend, and go, yep, get, yourself, that's all go get yourself a drink. <laughs> You deserve it. You're free to go now, bro. <laughs> nice one. We can have a look at the next heat then. Cheers. Cheers, Peraza. Always a pleasure, my friend. So here we go then, heat number five. It is, whoa, what I can't even believe I'm saying this, the last heat. Heat five, Team Dove. Let's hope that um, what Jason was saying doesn't happen, you know? He's like, oh, he always qualifies first and, and <laughs> A finish is last. <laughs> kind of yeah, put it out I mean, there. I mean, Jason, uh, Dubby is like a little brother to Jason, so yeah. obviously he's going to give him the most shit that he possibly can <laughs> and try to put him in his place. But let's be real, Jason's just jealous. Yeah, that's, yeah. Right. that's, that's yeah. all. That's all Jason is. Jason tries to make him do the grunt work whenever they're at work. But uh, we got uh, Lewis Mills rolling in first. Smith to switch bar. Truck driver over the, I don't even know what you call that thing. Little box show yeah, yeah, I know. thing. I don't even know. Lewis Mills, one of the most progressive street riders of today. God, first spin to tire ride on the rail. Just, you know, just making it look easy. Like wow, man. look at that nose rest. He was so locked in. Bar Manny, tire oh, switch rail. bar. Oh. He's just like laughing it off and he's like, oh no, the timer is going. I better get up. <laughs> Lewis Mills, like I said, one of the most progressive street riders nowadays. He's, he's got the best style. I mean, he he gets it. You know, there's certain riders that just they 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 know how to put a run together. They know how to film a damn good video part. They know what style looks good. They know how to apply their own, you know, sauce to it. And uh, I think whenever Garrett Reynolds handpicks you to be on his BMX brand, that's a pretty good sign. Yeah, I think you. <laughs> if that man's telling you you're good, you must be all right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, 
We talked to Dan Paley earlier, and he was telling us how Tom Justice helped him uh, get ready for this event. Yeah. And uh, next up, we have none other than Mr. Tom Justice. Yeah, he called him his sensei, didn't he? He was yeah. like, he's basically <laughs> just been talking me all the way through the course, giving me the confidence. But, I mean, again, Justin's one of those riders that kind of, he's the rider's rider. Every contest I ever go to that he's in, Oof. every rider just goes, yeah, Tom Justice was unreal. I, you know, I never really knew how good uh, Tom was until I actually came to this event. I saw him in real life, and I was like, yeah. "Damn, this uh, this shit's real." He, uh, he's really that good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you see it on the internet, and you're like, "Oh wow, yeah, it's crazy." But then you see it in real life, and you're like, "Dude, oh my god." Yeah, this that's guy's that's the impact insane. he has. It his is, technical yeah. stuff is, is I mean, even his, his, I mean, everything. And not just technical stuff, but, like, you know, his foot jam abilities and all of his weird combos that he can do, like this right here. Like, what that. the hell is that? I mean, what, what is that? I don't, even know what that like, I don't even know what that's considered. Laying that back end out, swings it back in again. Oh! Exactly. Pulled one of those yesterday as well. He literally does that every run like it's no big deal. Just a 540 Canadian foot jam. I, mean, I don't think I've ever seen anybody ever do that trick ever. No. Much less in a run every single time. I always wonder how much his hair must weigh. Oh my God. <laughs> it too. How does that not like, like literally as I'm, if I'm twisting in midair, if, if, uh, if the wind's blowing the wrong way, it puts me off. Yeah. How can you be chased by like, three tons of hair out the back. And Dude, I have affect. no idea. I wonder what would happen, whether he'd still be able to do the same tricks in the same way if he chopped all his hair off one day. <laughs> Maybe he's like, uh, what is it, is it Samson, that if you cut his hair off, he, he loses his strength? Maybe it's like <laughs> yeah. the same thing. You cut all of Justice's hair off, and uh, all of a sudden he came and bunny hop up a, set of, up a two stair or something like that. But, I, love uh, the, I love the consideration that uh, Josh Dove had in this team, like you said. He was like, as soon as he knew he was back this year, he was like, straight on the phone. Yeah, when can I pick my team? Yeah. You can't say no. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> obviously, Garrett Reynolds is going to be, you know, first round draft pick of anybody of anyone, in BMX, yeah. so. Hop switch truck from the GOAT. <laughs> he does deserve that. God! Like, come on! Ah, I'll leave some for the rest of us, dude. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, man. Gary I mean, Reynolds. I mean, nothing, I mean, oh, look, he is human. Uh, yeah, every once in a while he shows his human side, but not very often. Right there, human. Yeah, but even when it goes wrong, he kind of makes it look like it was right. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't matter. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we're giving him the curse of the commentator, definitely here this time. So I'll, I'll just shut up, man. <laughs> I'll, 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 I need to just shut my mouth and stop saying that people are good. I need to stop. Every time I give out a compliment, Ooh. every time I give out a compliment, I screw the guy up. So <laughs> trying to be nice and give people some compliments, and all of a sudden they're, uh, they're boggling all over the place. So Yeah, he's cool. And yeah, I mean, that is, I think if any other athlete out there, any other rider out there wanted, like, got, any number of those tricks that we stoked. He just put them oh, all, yeah. You know, all together in one run. Yeah. Gary Reynolds, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we got next up team captain, Mr. Josh Dove. Call through to the airport, let them know if there's any low flying aircraft around. Get out of the way because Dovey's in town. Even the seagulls watch out when Dovey's in town. All right, let's see it, Dovey. Boost on that straight out. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you know, Jason on us. Look at that. Jason's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tabletop was insane. Oh. Oh. oh my God, that air is so tall. Oh my God. The only man to hit the ceiling in this place. Literally, he is the only human being that has ever hit the ceiling in the Source Bowl on that quarter right there. I first saw a W ride in person at a Vans Pro Cup contest in Five Dog a few years back, and it was, uh, yeah, I, mean, I was shocked. I was shocked yeah. by what I saw. And I'm still shocked to this day of, like, how amazing he is. Still so young as well. He's, like, what, 19 years old? Yeah. We might want to stop talking nice about him because he might start messing up if we do that. Yeah, so. that's right, yeah. No, he's calling it. There you go. Yeah, Debbie. 
I mean, he's the, he is quite literally the man of the moment at the moment, isn't he? He's like, yeah. he's on everybody's lips at the minute. Like, yeah. everybody's chatting about him. Everybody's talking about him. All good things, of course. Oh, there's Jason going up and telling it. Probably it's telling oh, that. Stealing his, my moves? His, his run wasn't that good. You're stealing my moves. Something like that. <laughs> All right. We got Lou rolling in out of Australia, riding for Fiend. Smith, Yo. switch bar, dipped truck driver with a little spine box thing. Lou's getting back in there. Good start, solid start from him. Wow. Yes. Tires bar. God, how do you do that bar and then just get those tires directly onto that rail just like that? It's insane. Oh, oh my God, the pop on that 270 out of the rail was beautiful. Textbook style as well, getting all up on the front and then leaning it all the way back to yeah. get that rotation around. Yeah, just so awesome. Bar over pegs. I mean, Lewis Mills is like, you know, he's he, he's got the move, he's got the tricks, but his style is Yeah, great. yeah, yeah. It's you know, yeah. like he does these crazy complicated you know, street moves, but he makes them look so good. Yeah. He pops things properly. He, uh, you know, extends everything. You know, he's doing a, you know, a tuck no hander or whatever it may be. It's yeah, fully yeah. extended, you know. Whatever the move is that he's doing, he's always, you know, he's got the ability to do big shit and little shit. So, yeah, Lewis Mills, man. Solid second run. Ember. I'm sure you know by now, but I remind you, every single one of these riders is getting two runs on the course. And then after that, they have three attempts at a best trick. So we've gone back to the top of the list. Lewis has had his second run, and now Monsieur Justice will be in next on Justice. Come on then, Tom. I really wonder how much that hair weighs, like you're saying. I it, know. It's got, dude, it's got to be. It's just the rotation of it. I love it. Doesn't seem to bother him too much. Wow. Well, I could grow my hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, with the wall tap. That super narrow beam. I love how slow that is. So nice. Up cam. I love how he jumps the jumps that bowl to bowl like that and yeah. straight into that hip. Yeah, not many people do that. No. Oh! He showed me a picture of that the other day, and he was like, I might try and do this in my run. I was like, no. The cliffhanger. And there's that. Ah! Oh, the most extended one. Gosh. Go cool on, Justice. He's got a smile on his face because he knows Dude, this has gone how? good. How? Every single try. Every single time. Every single try. He but you've got so much control, you know. <laughs> That's so crazy. That was sick. That was the most extended one of those that we don't even know what it's called when he just lays yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he does the. It's like in like his inside foot foot jam, but like almost like whips it out like a look back or something. Yeah. I don't. I Takes don't his know. foot fully off the pedal, sticks it on the like yeah. across the frame, brings it back in again. Daryl, shades are off. He means business. Yeah, I'm sure Jer uh, Daryl is giving us a very long-winded uh, motivational speech about how influential Garrett Reynolds has been on the BMX scene. And, uh, yeah. Well, you Let's keep him up for Garrett Reynolds! <laughs> Something I, like that. I, I, I don't sound as good as Daryl. But... You do sound quite a lot like him. <laughs> <laughs> I see a more colorful outfit. Oh, oh my God! This just in, Garrett Reynolds is human. What in the world? <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. Maybe not. Maybe back to normal. Maybe back to normal. Normal. Normal service. Ah, oh, the manual to turn down with the worst camera angle ever, but it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Here goes. Tough to get every angle of this course. Yeah. Oh, what? What is that? I didn't expect hell? that. Three whip to fakie? Like, God, he can just pull anything out. Back across. I mean, you called him the GOAT. I mean, he quite literally is, isn't he? he I mean, I, mean I, 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 I don't give a shit if anybody thinks that he's not. He, that, Garrett Reynolds is the most talented bike rider to ever live. Yeah. Like, th there is not a doubt in my mind that there is nobody on the planet that is better yeah. than Garrett Reynolds. Like, like his, his pure talent, 
on a bicycle of knowing how the bike works, oh. nobody is more talented than he is. You know, if you gave him one week on a resi, he'd have every single quadruple flare. Oh uh, yeah, all, all, he, he just he knows how the shit works. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. And, uh, next up, Ca team captain, yeah. Mr. Josh Dub. Mr. Josh Dub. So this is the last rider for their second and final run on the course before we flick over to best trick, of course. Josh Dove, the man of the moment, I would say. Boost button set to 12 every time. Gets up all Jason Watts on us. Ooh. Oh, with the bars in. Oh, oh take hello. that, Sergio, in your stupid face. Here's Josh Dove. <laughs> Is that how you were supposed to do it? Sergio's pissed. Jason's pissed. They're all going <laughs> to gang up on him whenever he whenever, When Dubby leaves, he is going to have people want to kill him after this one. Oh, Tom Justice is pissed. He did the top yeah. side no-foot <laughs> can, can We got everybody. Tom Russell's mad. He did the barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to start. <laughs> Who else? Who else Every, now? Everybody, everybody's going to gang up on him after the contest. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Get some lines of your own. God! Yeah, Dubby! Good shit, though. Oh my god, dude. He is incredible. And Boyd, crazy Boyd, Boyd's yeah. pissed because he took his hair. Boyd's off. pissed because he took the hair. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, I thought, you know. He's whispering, Justin's whispering in his ear, I'll see you later. <laughs> I saw that no foot can can. We're lining up. We're yeah. lining up. Right, so what's going to happen now is we're going to go back to the top of the group again, and each one of these riders is going to get three attempts at a best trick, and we're gonna hand it over to Van and Daryl. We'll see you guys in a bit. Big shout out to everybody around the world watching on the live stream. Let us know in the comments what you think. Our last and final group riders are gonna throw down for our last trick. Our next rider is one of the most technical street riders of today. X Games gold medal, Nora Cup, riding for Fiend. And right now for Team Josh Dove, get loud for Lewis Mills. <laughs> Lewis going for an insane combination right there. Bar spin over grinds and tail whip out. Just to give everyone at home a little bit of perspective, to throw a tail whip coming out of that down rail, you do not have a lot of height. You are traveling straight into the ground and that is a very difficult thing to do. All right, coming in for a second attempt. Get loud, bring it up. Man, you don't get closer than that. I feel his pain right now, but I know Lewis can get this done. You do not get closer than that. You see Lewis Mills getting the pound from his teammate, Tom Justice. Come on, Hastings, bring it up. Bring it up. All right, so that was three attempts. That means his next attempt is gonna be for all the BMX fans. It's not gonna to count towards his team's score. We weren't loud enough. Like, there, oh! So close, Hastings. Let's get behind him. He wants one more. Let's hear it for Lewis Mills. Let's back him up right now. Hastings, let's get behind Lewis Mills. Taken out 
the cameraman. That is how you get up close and personal, and you get it done. And Lewis Mills right there, getting the tail whip in. As we said, that down rail is so hard to do because your momentum is sending you into the ground, as opposed to an up rail that is shooting you on up. All right, we got Nathan Williams on the course maintenance right now. The beers are gonna be flowing later, but let's keep them off the course for now, Nathan. <laughs> Just making sure that the battlefield is it dry as Tom Justice out here is looking to bring things to this bowl. Tom looks like he's eyeing up this sub rail. I'm guessing something technical. He's got three tries at this final trick. Shaking off the jitters. Come on, Hastings, let's pump him up. This is Tom Justice. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Wow. For all you viewers at home, this sub rail is about four feet tall five inches on top, and Tom Justice is trying to get a balance on that front wheel and pull back in three foot deck. This is a very difficult move that requires a lot of body strength. It also requires a lot of support. What? What? Wow, Van. Tom Justice's face expression said everything. He is shocked and floored. Going up with the foot, jamming it right on that front wheel on the edge and coming back in. I have never seen that one before, Daryl. I don't know for sure, but that might be the first time that trick was ever done on a sub rally. Tom Justice is saying that is the first time he has ever pulled it. Give it up for Justice! Tom. I gotta ask you, what goes through your mind when you're trying to get so precise on the sub rail like that? I don't even know, man. It's just aim and hope. Definitely just aim and hope. Well, you definitely aimed, you hoped, and you got the bullseye. Big ups to you, much props. Anything you want to say to the viewers around the world? Dude, I hope everyone's enjoying this. Like, what a show, what a show out here today. Well, you're putting the show on. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it. Much love. A lot of respect right there for Mr. Justice. All right, now we're going to take it from the sub rail to the streets because Garrett Reynolds, 15-time X Games medalist, gold, might I add, originally from New Jersey. Shout out to Tom's River. There's something in the water out there. Currently living in California. Here we go, the G-Man, Gary Reynolds. Oh, eyeing something up. Listen, there is part of the equation. When Garrett comes back to the rail, start making some noise. We are with 
witnessing one of the best street riders of all time. Street is such a crazy, competitive, difficult, progressing, ever-evolving thing, and Garrett has been leading the charge for over a decade. It's so crazy to think that he has been pushing the sport forward, and right now we're witnessing him here at the Swatch Battle of Hastings. So bring up that volume. Bring it up for the G-Man, Garrett Reynolds. So Garrett right there going for three attempts. This next one is gonna be for the glory, not going towards the team's score. Hey Hastings, let's not make any noise yet, but when Garrett drops in, let's all focus the energy and bring it up right now. He wants something else, Hastings. I don't think Garrett's satisfied right now. I see him circling like a shark. is pumping this crowd up right now. Garrett is gaining his composure, getting the pep off from Carol Nall. And here we go, Manuel. That's all right, that's all right. We'll bring the noise up a little louder. Tweak the volume, baby. Once he drops in, that's when we'll make some noise. But we're gonna give him a moment to just visualize, get his head in the right space. This man is one of the most celebrated street riders of all time. We're witnessing something so special right here. A legend of the sport that's still pushing forward harder than ever. So again, let's not make any noise. We're giving him the respect, the breathing room, feeling things out. But when he does drop in, we all know what to do. We've been practicing all day, smashing the railing, bringing the noise up and cheering, but not yet, not yet. He's getting some words of wisdom over there from Matthias Dandois. He's still getting his head in the zone. We're witnessing one of the greatest now. Bring it up, Hastings! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey Hastings, I look around at the BMX family Take a look. Are you gonna let Garrett Reynolds leave without pulling this? No, hold on, Garrett. This isn't about pressure. This 
is the BMX family showing the love and support. We get to witness one of the greatest doing his thing. There's nothing but love here, right, Hastings? on the battlefield. You see, he's tired, he's beaten down, he's doing it for his team. Here we go. Once he crosses this line, once he crosses this line, bring it up, bring it up! for our final rider, Josh Dove. Josh Dove going on top of the monster wall, looking for something. Representing Vans. Big shout out to Fireball and Swatch. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Josh Dove, big transfer, a lot of speed. Ooh, you can see Van that he's wind up grabbing his grips. Van, you can see the unique manual that he's going for up there. Yeah, bringing the originality right now, Daryl. Getting up on that massive wall ride. Josh Dub, Monster Wall, look at the manual! Oh. All right, he wants it, Hastings. All right, Josh Dub looking for that T-Bog manual, very unique and original up that massive wall, trying to lock in. Dove looking for the rodeo manual up there, trying to grab that grip or let the hand fly. Roasted around this ball right now. Oh my God. So much style. 
Thank you, Josta, for a wonderful display of style on this Source Park today. Hastings, thank you for being with us. We'll be announcing the results in just a few minutes, so don't go anywhere quite yet. We have our awards happening right now. Our judges are gonna tally up the scores. Wow. Dovey treating us to his signature move right at the end there. Wow. Again, not in his like free goes, but dude, how good was that contest? I mean, that, that I mean, I, we expected that last heat to be insane and they definitely delivered. I mean, Garrett Reynolds, Josh Dove, Lewis Mills, Tom Justice. It's, I mean, Tom Justice's last trick was insane. Yeah, that was that insane. Was, 360 Canadian foot jam to fakie on that sub rail. Oof, yeah, so, 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 so good. I mean, every single one of the teams, every single one of the riders, the, the event has just been insane this weekend. Yeah, yeah, it's been amazing, and it's been a good, uh, I love that it's uh, park riding and also transition riding and also street riding all yeah. in the same mix, you know, so it's, yeah, it was great, man. Oh, it was dude. awesome. I mean... I, you know what I want this weekend? I want Daryl to come in and do one of those talks for us. Every time before, like, before we move on to the next block, I want Daryl to come and do that sideways talk into our ear. Or like whenever, or like whenever you're at home and you're about to like have to go pay some bills, and you're just like, God, I don't, I don't want to get up and go do this. He's cool on Daryl. Like, Daryl comes to you and he's like, like a genie. Look, man, you got this. You <laughs> want it. The crowd wants it. Da 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 da. And you're like, you know what? I do got it. <laughs> well. Once again, it's been absolutely epic here. It's been insane. Um, don't go anywhere because we are going to find out exactly who are the champions this year. We haven't got a clue. I don't know how you could even call that. I don't know what the judges are doing up there, but they're tightening up the points and we're going to find out who are our winners this year. So please do not go anywhere. Please stay with us. We've got a little commercial break coming up and then we're going to hand it over to the course where we're going to do some more rider interviews and we're going to find out who the champions are. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in a bit. Swatch. Some of the action, what's going on down there. Seeing some of that crowd getting hyped up, finding out who the champions are going to be this year. Yeah, and it looks like maybe uh, Garrett's given a, doing a little bit of a crowd pleaser, you know, he's giving a few more whacks at that uh, manual double bar nose 180, it looks like maybe. So, uh, you know, I mean, once you get like in the zone of trying a trick like that, you you really just want to pull. Yeah, you just want you to know pull. whether the points are there or whatever. Like you just want to pull. It. Yeah. Well, a lot of those a lot of those best tricks actually went out the third. Oh, absolutely. There was only like maybe three or four people who got it with yeah. the third go. You know? <laughs> yeah. So let's see what Garrett's got. He must have had another pep talk from uh, Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> 
Go on, Garrett. With the whole squad hyping him up. Yeah. Like you say, he's just got a taste for it now. He just wants it, doesn't he? He's like... I mean, that, that proves that how much of a awesome guy Gary is, is that it's like he's obviously not trying to do it just for like you know the clout he just wants to like do it for himself just do it for himself exactly. he wants to, he, he's, he's like he can't let this thing uh can't walk away from this move so yeah hopefully he'll get it but everybody's just kind of hanging out now and uh letting the judges tally up some points yeah he's keeping keeping the crowd in saying whilst the judges yeah uh, <laughs> yeah Maybe he's earning him an extra couple of points. I couldn't come up giving another point. Because he's keeping the crowd in the same as we talk the scores. Yeah, and I, dude, I don't know how this, uh, how the rankings are going to turn well, out this like year. Like you said, when we looked at the leaderboard at the beginning. Go on, Garrett. Oh. Oh. You looked at the leaderboard at the beginning. There was something like, what did you say, like four point difference between first and second yeah, I place think, qualifiers? I think Team Dub was only leading by four points. Yeah. Uh, they had 28 points, and the next team had 24. So, uh, And everybody in their group rode really well. So yeah. we'll see if maybe Sergio's team pulls ahead. Or, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, we quite literally have no idea because we were calling, like, Killian now. And they were like, wow, they're definitely qualified. They're going to qualify. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my God. Maybe if you had Chase Hawk's brakes, you'd be able to land it. <laughs> you just squeal it on down there and up and over. Poor old Chase. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact you're just digging him out. He's it, he's too good. You gotta give him, you gotta talk shit on something about him. Yeah, that's it's right. So yeah, hard to you know. So if having nope. a break and pulling it every so often is the worst the man does, I think. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's see if Garrett's got this. The crowd pleaser. Yeah. Come on. Uh -oh. oh. What? No. I mean, he made that bit up at the end. That wasn't. Surely that's not what he was going for. God. Oh, man. He's, he's beat up from this weekend, man. You know, he rode the rail jam. He rode the best trick. He yeah. rode, you know, the park contest today. Trying that trick. I mean, he's sore. Yes. Not, he is not feeling great. If you're a team captain, you're like, he's maybe been the MVP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. For sure, but he's put a shift in, as we would say. Yeah, and huge shout out to to his bike company. He uh, Garrett's the owner of Fiend Bikes, and uh, they uh, sponsored the event this weekend. So huge shout out to them. And let's just run through the sponsors real quick. Thanks to uh, Swatch, Vans, Monster, Fireball, BSD, Cinema, Fiend, Fly, GT, Kink, Mankind, Odyssey, Profile, Shadow, We the People. Thank you guys, to all of you, for helping get the event going. Oh, 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 Yeah, I mean, we've said it a load of times over this weekend. We've, you know, it might sound like we're repeating ourselves, but we want to thank those sponsors because quite literally without them, this event could not happen. It's like, it yeah, takes man. a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch of blood, sweat, and tears to put this event on, you know? Yeah, man, it's, it, it's, it's not easy. I mean, you know, the Source, they run an indoor skate park and they have to pay all these people on the staff and they got to make sure that all the riders are getting paid, yeah. that they got their food vouchers, that they got, we got MCs on the course, yeah. you know, they got camera people, like, it's a lot, man. Yeah. It is no, it is no joke. Like, what they do to put this thing on is a huge production. There's a lot, there's huge. a lot of moving parts to this weekend. And, uh, yeah, it just couldn't happen, basically, without those, without those sponsors. So, massive big up to all those, all those sponsors. I mean, you, like you always say as well, you know, with Swamp Fest, you're like, you know, I know what it's like to put on a contest, but I don't know what it's like to put on a contest like this. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 What do you know, Austin Augie was in the way again. Yeah. Austin just, like, literally. That was sick. Yeah, I get it. That's... That, that's a dude that is for the people. That That is why he is the greatest ever. Oh, man. Like, I love that round Austin, like, sitting down at the end. He basically drew around his whole body with his Taurus. Yeah. Straight up with a cold one. Why not? He deserved it. Hell, yeah. Good shit, Garrett. I love that. He is the man. And look at how many, I mean, God, everybody's just hyped. Every big name rider there absolutely hyped at that. Yeah. They know, like you say, he just, he just wanted to get that done for the crowd, for himself. You know, there's no points involved in that. That was just for the love of it. No, no. He just did it purely because he loves it. Uh, I think that'd be like just 
full on A list uh, yeah. pros are there, like in support. I mean, you got Garrett, Chase Hawk, and Kevin Peraza, Dakota Roach, yeah. Dak Demon Ride Battle of Hazings, and he's here hanging out. And Matias, Matias, another one didn't ride Battle of Hazings, he's here hanging out. Yeah, you know, like are. we saw guys from the likes of Jamie Bestwick, Stuart King, Taj. Taj was like, here. Taj well. is here. Like these are like. You know they're legends. Gods. You know they're. You know it's it, it's insane that like people just want to come to this thing just to be a part of it, even if they're not involved with us. You know it's awesome. Yeah, exactly. And he's ice down there as well. Yeah, what's what's he doing on the mic? I don't know. Well, we're about to find out. I think he, I think they're going to do some interviews down there, but we are definitely going to find out who is this year's Swatch 2023 Bala Hastings champions. We're going to hand over to the boys on the course. Chief Robbins from Vintage Engineering. Behave, Dan, behave. Want to give a behave. big special thank you. Stand in line, stand in line. Swatch being behind the Battle of Hastings with Source BMX, Monster, Fireball, and Vans. One team came out on top. One captain selected three other soldiers to join them. And your Swatch Battle of Hastings 2023 winner is none other than team captain, Josh Doe! Captain Josh Stone! One more time, Hastings, England, make some noise for the Battle of Hastings 2023 champion team. Special trophy by Jake Robbins from Vintage Engineering. Also, an unbelievably cool swatch. Do not correct your vision, that is square. Swatch said, what if we did a square instead of a round watch? Always pushing style and function forward. Very cool to see our team captain, Josh Dove, along with his soldiers, Lewis Mills, Tom Justice, and Garrett Reynolds coming out on top. Congratulations going out to Josh Dove. I guess Jason was wrong. Yeah, Jason was wrong. Sorry, Jason. <laughs> Qualified first, finished first. Yeah. Uh, but, like, massive props. And there's the points. You know, they kind of ran away with it. Look, first place, 304. Laos, 286. Third place, Hilda. Fourth place, O'Kane. And fifth place, Lacey. But they ran away with it, man. 304. Yeah. And the score? They were, I mean, they were way out there. I mean, when you have Garrett Reynolds, Lewis Mills, Josh Devin, just like, you're going to know. Like, you know. Come on now. 
it's obviously been a worthwhile trip for Dovey. I mean, he's stoked. He, it's kind of palpable. You see it on his face. They're all stoked. Got their swatch watches as well. Yeah, they got They're going to be happy with that. And do you know what? We couldn't be happier either. I've been sat here all weekend with you. I've not been here for a couple of years now, but it's good to have been back on the microphone and been a pleasure to have been on it with you, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you so much, dude. Thank Once you. again, shout out to all the sponsors, right? Yeah, huge shout out to Swatch, Vans, Monster, Fireball, BSD, Cinema, Fiend, Fly, GT Kink, Mankind, Odyssey, Profile, Shadow, and we the people. That's right. And a massive shout out to obviously everybody at the park as well. Every sort of like moving part of this whole competition is insane. It's huge. From the people building the ramp of Jason Watts, the people serving drinks, putting wristbands on you, getting the hundreds of people in and out of this course and out, and just everybody for bringing the vibe. Everybody who came down here, massive thanks to all of you guys at home as well for tuning in. We appreciate it. Otherwise, it's just two dudes talking on a microphone. Yeah, right? exactly. And huge thank you to Rich Moore, Mark Moore, Tom Creasy, everybody at The Source. You know, The Source ha is a huge entity in BMX, and they have a lot of power, and they don't have to do this. That's right. And they choose to do this for the, all, for the better of BMX and to put on an event. And as somebody that does an event, this shit's hard. And exactly. huge respect to the source, to the Moore brothers and all of them. And uh, thank you so much again. Yeah, exactly. Thank you from me. Thank you from Trey. Guys, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as what we have. We have enjoyed it loads. I guess it's time to uh, get a couple of beers down the deck now. Guys, thanks very much. Big love, y'all. Pat Casey forever. <laughs>